Thank you.
Bonsoir, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to the finale of Jailhouse Rocky. Hello everyone. Is the music too loud? Oh, is it too quiet? Am I, am I too loud? Who knows? But hello everyone. Also, Hunter, I'm glad you bought made it. Oh, you should not. You mad it. Or was you bought it? Who knows? Oh, but also, hello Hunter, hello Sammy, hello Sam, hello Jacob, hello Poetical, hello Sam East. It's hap it is happening. What did you miss? Did you miss something? Why is he? he uh, our boy Kano has uh, has turned to gold and uh, has passed. Um, so that was what happened. Well, there we, we, we will be doing a recap of last session and the entire campaign in a hot second. If so, if you haven't caught uh, everything up till now, you will get a nice little uh, six and a half minute recap of all the things. Um, so yeah, but we'll go over that in a hot second. Um, also, hello Mara, how you doing? Thank you for joining us. I hope it's not uh, too early. It's morning for you, isn't it? Also, hello Epi. And where are we? F in chat. Many, many F in chats, please, for Kano. <laughs> Who else are we missing? Hello, Georgia. Here we are, last chef now, huh? He, 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 he is. But never forget. He's, he's, we, we've got a statue of Kano that we can just put up without like it's free of charge too and it's already made no no time no no time at all we could just we could just grab that and use that i mean when i'll be arguing right now i'd, I'd be I'd, I'd be on your petty squabbles as the real aj would be mm. that is the one only one given only to those with honor you're backing away from a fight i don't know man the way kano kano went out he he did anything but that I think it's pretty honorable to uh, to die protecting your friends and so uh, alas alas hunter i think you lose that one he did play aj like we i, I don't think we, we couldn't put into words how well aj did playing bringing kano to life like yeah no i i think that's like i i'll, I'll probably want to like have a little a little talk about that as well before we start as well because like again yeah aj like you I, I was just saying with the cast like i appreciate how much you gave to the project and how much life and just energy and joy you brought with kano and just like like from the chemistry one shots and just like all the silly things and then all just a little 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 perfectly timed nuggets of comedy with uh, that you brought um with kano in the main in the main game and all the, just the chaos but also all just those heavy hitting moves. Thank you for playing Kano, uh, AJ. You you did you did a grand job. That's true, Sam. It is it isn't honor honorable honorful <laughs> to to seek a fight at, at the start. Uh, 
Alessandro, I feel like you're when you're in the vibe in, it'll always be a tavern brawl. We ain't got any places for dueling. I'm sorry. Actually, we do on my art streams on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Also, thank you, Young, for uh, thank you, Yo, for reaching out the stream. That was very sweet of you. Thank you so much. It's better to be a fighter who farms than a fighter in a than a farmer in a fight. It's true. It's true. Where are we? What do I do? What do I say? What do I say, Frankie? Why? You? Also, hello, Frankie. I don't know if I said, I, I, I don't know if I said hello earlier. Uh, but thank you for stopping by, Frankie. Thank you, everyone that stopped by uh, and is here. Uh, if you've been watching since the beginning, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for giving your time and interacting with the sessions. Thank you, Marcelo, for the follow. That was very sweet of you. Thank you. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Smooch. Um, but yeah, um, what's the word? Yeah, if you've been here since the beginning, if you've been here just for like one session, if you've only been here for the past 12 minutes, you've been here only for a second, thank you for being here. I, I hella appreciate that. You 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 make you 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 give me too much of your time and too much of your energy and it's beyond appreciated. Um What are the other things? If if you've been lurking or watching the VOD as well. Same goes to you. Thank you for giving me your time. Thank you for giving me your energy. And thank you for being a part of this. This has been such a fun thing to bring, um, bring to life. I'm not gonna do too much about uh, too much of, of this. I think like we can go over this uh, when we do the behind the scenes and the uh, the wrap up um, in September. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get all I'm not gonna start crying just yet. But we'll 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 save it. We'll wait, we'll wait a month for that. Thank you, Hunter, for dropping the links in the Discord. If you guys want to go support my art, uh, most of the art you see on stream, that is, if, if anything that isn't the map or uh, the fan art. Oh my God, where's the fan art? Oh, the fan art isn't on this screen, is it? So let me actually pull up all the fan art that you guys have um, made for the stream because there's been so much for like this, for this one campaign alone. It's a lot, but there's, Everything was stunning. Uh, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this. There you are. But yeah, um, everything but the fan art and the maps, uh, which I made by Two Minute Tabletop. If you want to go uh, support uh, support my stuff and see all the other things I, I do, you can check out my Instagram and my Twitter there. And you can also, uh, in the link tree is my links to my YouTube, TikTok, and all the other socials I post on. And you can find a bunch of stuff there. And there's Discord, which is a wonderful D&D &D and art community, which is actually where I found most of my cast for Jailhouse Rocky. Um, because they took part in a community West Marches game that I run. And if uh, it's not a promise, but like it's it is how I scout for new players for like stuff like this. So if it's something of interest and you um, want to take part in the community and be a part of the, the world building of Shreleo, join in the West Marches. It's got some really cool stuff uh, to be a part of and do. Um... So yeah, a few things I'm going to go over before we start. Uh, number one is sponsors. Number two is channel interaction. I shall go, I'll do this. I'll do sponsors last because uh, I, I will remember to do this, but I'll forget up to, uh, channel points. Um, if you want to partake in the, ch uh, the session, you can. We have channel point redemptions. There's two interactions for... Um, so there's like the healing spirit and chat inspiration, which you can summon to gift um, just a general... Uh, a bit of healing or a bit of inspiration to one of your uh to the one of the characters you're enjoying on screen or re rejuvenating spirit which i believe is a full party heal oh no it gives one specific pc like the benefits of a short rest and also redeems uh recover spell slots and stuff um but we also have channel point redemptions for um specifically uh, a hindrance and a um and a help action to help uh, either Taya, uh, Randall, or Moran. Uh, we did have a Kano one, but uh, for reasons we, we don't anymore, obviously. Um, but yeah, uh, next thing is we're gonna go over the sponsors quickly. Um, first sponsor, once I find the thing, is Hello AJ. I don't know if I already said it. I feel like I already said hello, but like, just in case I didn't. First sponsor is Bard RPG. If you are looking for a genre agnostic and system agnostic assistance to your uh, role playing and storytelling, 
um, you should check out Bard RPG. It's a really cool project that I've, I'm a part of. I am the sci-fi artist for the um, for the project. And if you want to see some of the art I've done for it and see some of the other cool stuff everyone else has produced for it, they've done... Wow. Wow. I'm not going to read that out, Sneer. But I acknowledge you. Thank you for stopping by. But yeah, um, the yeah, Bard RPG. Because I'm going through my sponsors. Come on, that SMH is new. SMH. Also, can uh, everyone say hello to my brother? Uh, that's my brother. Uh, but yeah, um, <laughs> yes, yes, we do know our boy Brom finest car in town oh my god actually uh, I'm, I'm gonna step away from our sponsors for a second you know there's a, in in the intro uh Sneel, there's a scene that is that goes past um the icon gallery it's uh i recognize it because like i used to walk walk there when i used to go to juju's for work i've just doxed myself fuck that's fine i don't work there anymore it's fine yeah that's that's one of my brothers yeah <laughs> We, we got him. But yeah. Um, so you bought RPG. Uh, genre agnostic. System agnostic. I do art for it. Go check it out. It's some really cool stuff. We're going to be back in uh, gear to do work for it. Um, in September. But once I get back from my holiday. Uh, so you'll be seeing me doing art for that very soon again. And it's uh, seeing me do some cool sci-fi shit. Um, go check it out, go support all the artists and the writers and just the makers of that project, Scriv and the team do a wonderful job. Uh, next sponsor is Dice Roll UK. You may have seen some of the dice I've, uh, I've shown on stream a few times and um, there'll be some more dice I want to show very soon but I can't just yet but like they're all gorgeous. They pr produce stunning gemstone and metal and resin dice. The metal dice, I'm surprised with how good they are like I, I i didn't think i would ever like care for metal dice but god dang they're oh their metal dice are stunning um i i if you're looking for cheap affordable uh, well that is affordable uh cheap and um just neat dice go go check out dice uk and use my affiliate link uh dice world uk slash casa dm to uh help support the stream and also grab some cool dice. If you're in the UK, they do free shipping, but they are shipping internationally as well. Um, I recommend checking them out. But we also have other dice sponsors, such as Phoenix. Uh, Phoenix Dice, uh, which who also produce some go some gorgeous dice. They do some really neat dice with like uh, the ones that like have things inside them. I b think most of their stuff is resin-based dice. They do some really cool stuff. And if you want to get 20% off your purchase, they also do... Uh, di uh, TGRPG accessories like dice bags and uh, dice trays. Uh, you can use the code TAS2022 to get 20% off. Um, secondly, is Games by B who produce TTRPG accessories and just stationery for... Um, that's not the command. For when you want to play in person and take all your pencils, all your dice and your dice tray to roll on. And also have some uh, some patches. They do, they do some wonderful stuff and it's... Um, I believe it's all handmade. I can't remember exactly, but they produce stunning stuff. And if you want to get ten percent off, uh, use code TAS twenty twenty two. I think you will actually be doing a custom um, giveaway with them soon as well, uh, an Ermia based uh, one at some point. Um, hopefully, n within the next few months, uh, it'll be probably when like I, we hit a thousand uh, followers on here. If we hit a thousand followers on here, um, but who knows. Uh, next is we did games of the dice roll phoenix bar wg ah yes just very mundane jacob's podcast where he and his guest uh or his host sorry saga they um they just talk about things that are mundane they hang out give life advice be hilarious go check them out go support jacob he does wonderful stuff all his podcasts are hilarious he is hilarious go support him please he, he deserves all the support. He's one of the most patient and just dedicated people I've ever met. And he produces amazing content. Go support him. Go go check him out. 
Next is the second podcast ever made in all of history. There's only two podcasts. The first one was just very mundane, if I didn't mention that. Um, we're so fucking sorry. I forget that like I need to like ho- like sing the melody for it, but I always forget about it. Yeah, Jacob is very cool. Um, another sponsor, just very mundane. I'm not just very mundane. We're so fucking sorry. Um, that is where Lucy and uh, Sammy, uh, who plays Taya on TAS, um, she, them two produce some wonderful, hilarious, chaotic content. I don't know if they, I think they're either hitting their anniversary next week or they're like, they've got an anniversary stream coming up uh, or they've like they've, their 50th uh, stream or, or um, podcast thing is happening. Um, go check them out. I think that uh, Samuel's men- I don't know if, if it's a spoiler. I'm not going to say what it is. I'm allowed to, I'm allowed to talk, say what it is, uh, Sammy. But yeah, they've got a 50th ep- episode coming up soon. It is hilarious. It is chaotic. It is wonderful. It is bite size. If you're looking for something to listen to while you're on your journey and just doing things, listen to either We're So Fucking Sorry or Just For Mundane. Perfect. It is, um, Sammy's going to be doing a one shot, um, uh, as a special, uh, as a special episode. It's not a D&D themed podcast, but like as a, as a little special, they're, they're going to be doing something really cool with that. Um, and as someone who's played in one of uh, Sammy's games, she produces some wonderful stuff. And both as a as a DM and as a showrunner, go go support her and go get ready for that. It's it'll be exciting. And finally, Georgia Marjuri. You know our girl Georgia, um, Lo Nico. She uh, she makes jewelry. It's beautiful sterling silver pendants, rings, earrings, and necklaces. And there's two sets that are out right now. There is the um, Warrior Poet Collection, which are all gorgeous and based on like uh, weapons. And there is the Silver Dragon Sword, which is themed around a D&D um, uh, classes. There is the Dungeon Master, there is the Rogue, and there is the Fighter. They are all gorgeous. Don't grab them. Uh, grab them after you have purchased them. Because uh, they are stunning. You should go support Georgia, Sammy, uh, and Jacob on all their things uh, and I want to thank my sponsors for uh, sponsoring the stream I hella appreciate that um, and that's all the things I think I want to go over um, oh one last thing one bit of news um, is I will not be streaming uh, next week or the week after or the week after that uh, because I will be on holiday I will be in Canada seeing Sam and Sam and AJ um so you won't be seeing me streaming you might see me in discord maybe if you're lucky i don't expect to be in discord uh but i might be if like you might i might be in the background of sam's uh, cam at some point who knows uh, we might be doing a mcclunky stream actually oh speaking of the streams also produced by mcclunky squadron as well i forgot to mention them um but yeah oh there was another thing i forgot to mention left us nothing with nothing to there's hundreds of amazing content creators that like are in our circle and in our community that like i recommend checking i highly endorse top down tabletop um for example if you're looking for DD content if you're looking for art content uh i can't think of anyone off the top of my head just right now because i don't actually watch a lot of art streams anymore homebrew in lux alley there's a lot of stuff um there is the poster contest, so you can focus on that while you do while uh, while I'm away, if you want to. Um, they all do stream stream like they do. Yeah, there's uh, so there's two things I want to remind. Catching one, that's that's a that's a shout. You, 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 you fucking stars, the lot of you. I don't have a link to uh, to Aurora, but yeah, catch up on tasks while I'm away. You got you have all the time. I was actually meant to calculate how uh, how many days or hours that would be. Um, but yeah, go, go, go catch up on all the things. Um, first bit of, uh, extra bit of news is, uh, other than like being away for holiday, uh, is we have, we have finally put up all the, uh, Into the Rockyverse and Jailhouse Rocky merch. So if you want to grab some of those, they are on Redbubble. Uh, you can grab sticker sets of the emotes that like the characters have been using on stream, or you can grab a poster of, uh, the group, um, both uh, the groups from uh, Jailhouse Rocky and uh, Into the Rocky Verse, if you want to. Uh, there's some, and yeah, there's also some other tasks merch on there, and some other stuff uh, from the stream. So if that's something you wanna 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 grab, um, go check out my Red Bull. 
and that does that goes towards the stream and supports the production that goes into everything that we put into this um, and it's greatly appreciated finally there is the thing i'm forgetting other than merch uh what am i forgetting i'm going on holiday merch um what was the third thing i forget what you guys have done oh poster challenge yes we have the task poster challenge um no the recap uh, the recap i won't forget but that I, I put too much work into that to forget it uh, the recap will be uh not the recap sorry the poster challenge is um we've extended it to october 1st so if you uh are making uh want to make a poster for that uh you have more time uh but also um which i think was worth knowing we we do we're going to be doing this yearly so if you don't don't make it this year, you're you are allowed to get a head start and make your poster for next year. Um, but yeah, uh, there is uh, the poster challenge, and if we get five entries before the end of August, is it the end of August or is it before September? Well, I mean either same or same. Um, if we get five entries uh, in total, uh, we will be giving two more prizes alongside the the three we had initially, uh, or the the. Two more prizes again, along with the initial one prize we we, we, we had put in mind. But yeah, that's all the things from me. I'm going to put on the recap and then we'll get uh, straight into the session. So see you guys in a hot second. Uh, Jacob has brought <laughs> Jacob has brought it up to my attention. It's how, how long was it again? Jacob said again. Two days, twenty hours, and forty minutes. If you wanted to watch uh, Tass in one go, or sixty and a half hours. Thank you, Jacob, for that. But yeah, I'm gonna put on the recap so you guys know how it's like. It's, it's uh i was actually before i was uh so uh terribly arrested I, I i went to go investigate find out more information about it my old compadres uh compatriots they they know a little bit more than i do but i'm sure i just i don't know i don't know much more than that i just know it's a uh, bad news bears and that we should get the heck out of dodge but yeah so i say uh uh mr uh 
Mr. Randall, sir. Uh, I think that uh, whatever plan you had to get out of the prison, I think we got to expedite that. Because this prison won't be a prison much longer if this thing gets a hold of it. Well, I mean, I guess let's get to work then on, on that plan. Operation Escape plan happens. That's that's the name Thank of my you. plan that I came up with. That was, that was at least 5% of the plan that I had. Oh, no. Coming up with the name? Yes. <laughs> I like it. I have a question. What's what? going on? You want to stay here? Of course not, but... What is this? This is my little nook. Randall, bad, I've known you for three days. I wasn't talking about the room. You have a plan, right? I I have a percentage of a plan, yes. How much of a percentage? Thirty percent. Oh. I just like lean over to Rocky. Like, oh, is that wow. a lot? I I just want you to know that uh, where where your crew now? Where your family? The proud and angry walk I would describe of the warden Hira Hikana, and you can just see like her hair is held up high and it's just like flaring as she's um, she's just walking through. Uh, when I'm she terrified sees... and very attracted right now. Wonderful. I've seen you before, haven't I? Who are you? You came to our shrine. Uh, yeah. Hey, you're one of the shrine maidens, then? You were the last... You took that journey through the valley. That's... that's me, Hattie. I need you to tell me everything. Amongst all of these, like, yokai that are just clobbering at the AG, they are clearly just zoned in on this, on these... You can see... In this one here, there is a humanoid man. Just floating. Taya, you recognize him immediately as your bounty, Sanya. Taya would have noticed uh, the echo because it's a lot clearer. Mm -hmm. uh, she kind of like hesitates for a second and she goes, Hanako, is, is that you? Less like smoke and looks elven. And you can see you're just glittering. Just. I sidestep the wall throwing my bow down onto the elevator and I draw my sword. Mm -hmm. I said stay on the elevator. Well, somebody has to cover you. As you you feel your body get pulled back as she's pulled you away. No! You just you press the right button in that moment to cause a a whirring uh, that causes the elevator to begin to vibrate for a second. As in that moment, you just feel Sonny's entire body crash into you. You just see him just blast this giant wave of gold fire into your face. Or on, onto your body. Kano's arms, uh, going up, crawling up his arms, you see the fire all around Kano's, um, the part that isn't like, uh, that is being blocked by Kano, isn't being consumed by this fire, but that is, is like having this like golden fire meld onto him and circle around and just build, like crawl up his body. And as that happens, you the elevator just give. And you guys feel your bodies plummet down with the elevator as it is uh, hurtling downwards down a shaft. Kano, jump! Kano! It wasn't supposed to happen that way. It wasn't the plan. I was waiting in the it wasn't the plan. But, but there is... There, there has to be, if not now, there has to be a way to save him. I just, I can't. There's nothing, Rocky. There's nothing. You think I have tried everything? And I, and she, she points to the now smoky again visage of, of Hanako. You think I didn't try everything for her when this happened? I did everything I could. And I would do everything I could for Kano too, but he's gone. Come on. I just... Come on, we have to go. Just give me a second, please. I've never... I've never said this to y'all before. Uh, I mean, now we've gone through what we can, or what we have. It, it feels stupid. I just kind of keep it to myself. Uh, on my journey, uh, I, I came across a town of uh, 
people made our gold. Uh, I I honestly just didn't know what to to think of it until this moment, but I, I there there's gonna be a solution, even if even if it doesn't mean bringing those people back. There's still a solution to prevent any more from happening, and I'm gonna. I'm going to spend my dying breath finding that solution. And when we get out of here, let's tell everyone what they're doing in here. Hello, bonsoir everyone. Welcome to part three and the finale of uh, Jailhouse Rocky. Howdy, everybody. Hello. 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 Oh no, Sam, your thing isn't working. My thing's not oh. working? Give me a second. Speak. Hello? Wait, me or Sam? Sam, sorry. His, his, okay. speech, his speech bubble isn't coming up. Why is my speech bubble not coming up? I don't know. I know Taki. I can be silent this session. Speak. Ah. No, that's right. That was K now. What the hell? Speak again. I'm speaking now. Hello. Sorry, guys. We're troubleshooting quickly. It's okay. <laughs> Why is it? Is it, it? Hello, hello, hello. Should be this. I'm going through emotional trauma. You are. That, that's what's happening. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for enjoying that little, uh, little, what's the word? What, what do you call it? Recap, that was it. Um, you know, everyone did a grand job with just all the things that they've put into this. That well, you did a great job bringing it all together. Like, that was amazing, dude. I appreciate that. Can I do this? Speak now, Sam. Uh, hello, hello, what's up? Is it is it working? It's worked, pup. I don't. Is it? I don't see yeah, it. Yeah, it, it works now. You you you're under. Oh, there it is. There it is. Yeah. We're good. Yes, let's go. Um, so we've done the recap. We're gonna go straight into things. Uh, so I'm gonna just change the music to a. Spooky, Thank you, Hunter. To a spooky music. Mm. Everyone needs a hook right now. If I where is where's the spooky? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Bless you. No worries. Here we go. I think this will do. If I clear the musics. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. That's not the music. I just like it's just a, just a bunch of numbers. We'll just put in. Uh... Oh, yeah. And play. There we are. All right. So yeah, we ended the session with you guys having just plummeted down into the uh, the factory, um, or the main factory floor um, that isn't the prison, um, and looking at all as you guys like uh, crash down to the um, down the elevator, you guys get over here so i'm gonna zoom in just a tidge as you guys um can see on the monitors around you um the scene of sanyi uh stepping away from kano's um 
Kano's golden uh, statue. I'll pay for this one day. We're going to pay for it today, to be honest. We just got to... I, I don't know if today we're in the right capabilities to be handling that guy. Yeah, you know, I don't I don't know if I terribly care. I mean I, I, I could I could I could I could go I could try, you know? What am I gonna do? Just sit here and not 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 try to invent my friend? Think I'm just gonna hang out, do nothing? Well we sometimes need a plan. It's, we need it, to make a plan. It's better sometimes to not. leave the fight than to have it and lose. I will never forgive myself if I let him walk away without my dying breath on his table and then he is able to do that to somebody else. And as you say that, um, Kano, oh no, Kano, sorry, Raki, it's too soon. <laughs> <laughs> you hear above you, uh, through the ele elevator shaft, you hear the spidering of something jittering on its way down and you can hit you see some green liquid dripping onto this onto some of the, these metal plating and just burning away at them and just oh. corroding little ah. little spots on them near you randall Ooh. yeah mm -hmm. luckily it, it just misses good. you but you can just hear it above you and you can also hear the sounds of something sparking and sizzling as you can hear the sound of um someone calling for help and banging against the door over here oh, which door oh, hear that have prisoners made it down here already it's over here as i don't think it's a door. do i do i actually see this by the way yeah well you can see you uh you can see it you can see on, as there's you, one of those freaky monsters in there as you look around the corner you can see a monkey-like creature it's like a body of a tiger and monkey with three snakes out of its uh, body and like a few extra limbs and eyes all over its body its tiger striped body uh you see just like two of the snake heads you know it's are uh, have been sliced off but you can see it, like just like preparing to rear itself and a lash out and a pounce on something around the corner and you can hear the banging on the uh the wall coming from around that corner i uh i grab rocky's shoulder and come on let's go i i begrudgingly go careful don't get too close to that thing i don't know what it can do we don't know what it is as your as as you as you you're questioning that you at Rocky, when before you uh, get off the elevator, you look up and you get a glance of um, the creature making its way down. And it looks to be a large humanoid creature um, dressed like a shrine maiden um, walking down the side of the walls. That's new. Let me pull out the... Uh the token oh dear you just see this as someone down. also dressed like a shine maiden i'm offended <laughs> <laughs> you see this just making its way down and you see all its eyes jittering as it looks at you and it just makes a it just makes a little uh just makes a few jittering noises as it looks at you but you see oh, this thing, uh, this thing that's sparking turns to see uh, you guys make your way around the corner. And it shrieks at you. I uh, back away slowly. Everybody start shooting. Uh, you want to start shooting? Out. Let's start. Yeah, let's start shooting. Roll initiative. Roll initiative. Okay. If the mastermind says so, let's do it. <laughs> if you want to oh, we're already in it. If it's turned and seen us already, it's better to do that than just wait until it comes up to us. It's scary. <laughs> he said it. <laughs> did, did he say it? 
Beautiful. He said it. It's iconic. It really is. <laughs> just just a Kano from Beyond the Grave. That's nasty. <laughs> the new I got. Let's see. I'm just going to put this over here. And I'm going to put this over here. So let's do descending. Seven. Sorry. And I'm going to just change the music again. Fancy. Um, clear. But yeah, as like the thing that's coming on the shaft, you can see it's a, it's a ways away, but you just see just like it is on the various mounts on its body are just frothing with this green acid that like you can and you know it's on its like it's got like its mouth is underneath its chin, but you can also see mouths on these giant sight like hands or like spear arms um and there's like mouths just all over those and they just are dripping that green liquid that is burning into uh the metal as it's uh just all around you right um not a fan everybody not a fan at all it is as you as you as you're you're just seeing this thing coming very not close close but it's 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 got its sights on you Taya, it's your turn what would you like to do it's looking at rocky it is looking at rocky okay i'm trying to read my shadow touch give me like two seconds no worries What is the other spell that's linked with Shadow Touch? Like, I know I can only use one of them. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Is it on your spell section of your sheet? Uh, yeah, I think it's uh, it's invisibility versus disguise self, right? It should be. Let's see. Okay. I'm going to use invil invisibility, which is a creature mm -hmm. you touch becomes invisible until the spell ends. Uh, anything the target is wearing or carrying is invisible as long as it's on the target's person. So I'm going to go run up to Rocky. Uh, I might have to dash again. No, I can run up to him. I'm going to run up to him and turn him invisible. Because I do not want him to be targeted by this massive monster. Mm -hmm. As you... Yeah, as as you just rush over to Rocky and touch him, um, you feel from where Taya touches you, uh, Rocky, this sense of smoke like wafting over your arm or uh, over your shoulder or your arm uh your side and it just envelops around you and as it's sw swirling around you can see that like you're gone you can't right. see yourself from there you can you feel yourself oh goodness alert went off thank you for you doing that stream Teo. Teo whisper like i need you to reposition now and that will be my turn no worries I have a question about this invisibility. Is it like, do I know if it's, uh, if I am to engage in an attack, does that go away? Spell ends for a target that attacks or casts a spell. Yeah. So like Taylor yeah. could let you know, but like, um, but if she doesn't, uh, if she doesn't tell you, you would just assume that like, yes, it's like the assumption you could, you could go off of. All right, cool. So yeah, if there's nothing else you want to do there, Taya, it, Randall, it is your turn. As you see, Taya, when you rush in, you see the eyes jitter, searching for Rocky. And like all the eyes move in different directions. Then it focuses in on you. I hate that. Okay. <laughs> I think I'd rather deal with the little monkey than this thing. If we want to be getting out of here. Especially after it's making that kind of noise. It just jitters at you. So, uh, Randall's gonna start making a move this way. 5, 10, 15, 20. Like, come on, guys, let's go! <laughs> Thank you, Frankie, for the redemption. I shall use that in a sec. Yes, as you make your way to the monkey creature, it you, as you can look around the corner, you, can you see? Yes, you can. You can see this guard, fire genasi guard, 
just slashing at the air, very panicked, and you can see a lot of their armor is charred and damaged from slashes and other just heavy just damage. And even the door looks to be like as if something was banging against it. Uh, you can see around it just like the ti these tiny like wisps of white fire flecking off of the grates around uh, and some of the wires cut um, and sparking. And the guard is just like banging against the door and slashing uh, vigorously at the at the new way. And seeing you come around the corner, help, please. Very agitatedly and exhaustedly. Do I also I, I see this over here too the uh, uh, the ACU is that what it is? Uh, the, the, the robot work? guards. Yeah, the robot guards. Hold on, I'm sorry. I, I, I see that over here happening. Oh, you see? Oh, you can see through the window. Ah, yes. Oh, you okay. can. You can. Yeah, no, you can see that. You let me just zoom out. What you can see then? You can see out of the windows there. You can see just uh, the silhouettes of ACUs. Uh, fighting a giant hulking four-armed Shabbaton, uh, carrying a giant hammer, swirling it, trying to like uh, catch the ACU off guard, and the ACU is is not giving up. And you can see just silhouetted behind it, the giant head of a mech uh, in white plate, looking like it's still uh, being built, suspended on chains. Um, and you can see its eyes, although they don't look to be. It doesn't look activated. You can you feel the eyes pierce through into you through that window. Oh, Moran, there is a lot going on this way. That's intriguing. Uh, by the way, I will also note those are windows. Um, Not well, doors, like in, in yeah, camp. yeah. Those windows are windows. These are doors, but like this door okay. is open. Randall, oh. I'm not sure I would call it intriguing. Maybe scary is the word you're looking for. I think it could be useful. Like a distraction. We don't really get a whole lot of options. Mm -hmm. also, There's also a guard down there that looks easily pushed through rubble. So, AJ, could you roll me a D4? As um, as you guys are arguing, when you get covered in in that smoke, of, um, oh no, 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 D4. Sorry, um, a, uh, AJ. Sorry, I mean AJ. Could you roll for me a D10? Um, Rocky, you feel when uh, when Taya's smoke envelops around you, you see one of her arrows has a tiny little wispy spirit push off of it, and then rush towards you, and it swirled around you as well, giving you advantage. Thank you, Hunter, for the advantage. And then, uh, Rock, um, I believe Taya will get some healing when uh, when that detail. You get ten healing. Um, you. Um, I'll take the 10. Wow. I'll take the 10. Yeah, I'll take the Don't 10. Look yeah. At the one. yeah, I still have like, it's all right. I'll, I'll let you have it. Um, the same kind of situation happens with you where like two spirits uh, you see are forming out of your arrows and they're like f pushing each other and just fighting each other. And the one, the smaller one, does end up pushing back um, the other one and then rushes towards you and swirls around you. These all come off like your arrows, uh, Taya. And you just, as they swirl around, you feel rejuvenated. And you feel there's a, uh, a pump of adrenaline burst through you as this thing, as you just feel like this is a, another thing to hunt, another bounty uh, to collect. You gain 10 more uh, hit points. Yay. Thanks, chat. But yeah, uh, sorry. Um, sorry, Randall, continue with your turn. I'm sorry, like a lot of things were just happening. Uh, well, I mean, me and Miranda are pretty much just debating on what we're doing here, mm -hmm. pretty much, but. Look, uh, whatever I, you I, think I, we should do, I'll follow you. I think that we should be going this way and fighting through this. these guys. These seem way easier than that giant monstrosity that's got scythe hands. All right. Rocky, Taya, come on. Right behind you. All right. All right, and that's my turn. Moran, it's your turn. Okay. Uh, I have a question. Does this yokai occupy this square? No, it's on the sea. It's still in the elevator chute making its way down. Okay. Got it. Um, like in vertical space, it does, though. Yeah. 
Got it. I was just wondering if I could make a melee attack with my echo. I can't. Uh, in that case, I'll make a longbow attack. Go ahead. Oh, now you're just pissing it off. It hits. Your arrow okay. just flies towards it and lodges. Its, you see, just like go into the darkness of one of its eyes, and it turns very mechanically, almost towards you, and pulls itself through the elevator shaft as like it's. You can hear it just shriek and just spitting out acid all around it as its body gets revealed. Oof. Hey, Randall, why don't you oh, look for no. a lever or something to close that door? I'm going to uh, roll damage. Go ahead. Um, and then I'm going to make my extra attack. Oh, oh my I didn't God. mean to roll damage again. My nice. bad. Um, I meant to roll longbow. Oh, I assume that hits. That does. All right. Um, and having hopefully distracted it from my allies, I'm just gonna one, two, three, four, yeah, like five, it, six. You see, try to follow you, Moran, and its head stops and its uh, the arms aren't able to. But you see, when the body gets around, you can see it's covered in ropes and shide, uh, and also underneath it, those eggs that you saw from earlier uh, in the storage rooms, all over its uh, underside, and you can see oh the God, eyes that huge. are there just look at you and just follow you as you make your way around the corner. R Randall <laughs> turns pale practically just of fear of this thing. It's, it's bad, so bad, gross. Bad, 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 bad. Bad, bad, bad. It is now your turn, uh, uh, Rocky. All right. Um, do I know if I give help actions if that also negates my invisibility? I'm going to say you're, you you will be allowed to give help. All right, yeah, because it's not wanna... an attack or a spell. Mm, yeah, or I didn't know if it counted. I'm going to move just a little bit back away from uh, uh, and then help uh, and then give a help action to uh, Taya. Go ahead. Um, does that do anything now or is it just that she rolls advantage on her next turn? She would get advantage, yeah. All right. I don't believe there's anything else I can do at the moment. Uh, without like, you know, dying because I'm a, a child. Um, if you wanted to, oh shoot, we've got to level you up. We'll do that. After, we'll do it during the break. Um, all right. But you, if you, I would allow you to be able to give her help as you're running around, because like everything's happening in that six second space, you'd be able to help her while you're uh, running uh, away. If you or running and using your movement, if you wanted to. All right, so I'll go ahead and give her a help action, and then I'm going to start running towards my other people. Mm -hmm. So, like, right around here. Where's Rocky? Oh, your right. health's not showing up. And that'll be the end of my turn. Perfect. What's your HP, Randall? Sorry, your HP isn't showing up. My HP's not showing up? It yeah. is... Oh, it is not on my sheet at all right now, actually. This is... <laughs> That is very strange. That is. Hold on, I will quickly go check like the other session or something like that. Hold on a second. Yeah, if you do that for me, and we'll work around that. The new way is gonna turn and see you guys all coming around the corner, and so it's just gonna hold its pants and turn towards you, Moran, and lunge at you, and then uh, get the one head that isn't uh, hasn't been cut off its tail to go uh, to launch itself towards Randall. The six hit. <laughs> uh, none of those. None no, of those I'm hits. sorry, Kaz. It doesn't. Yeah, you guys are able to just like kind of sidestep it as like it almost as if like it like miscalculated. It's like it was using the calculation of the pound on the guard, and so it just completely falls short. And the snakehead just misses you, Randall, as it like snaps to you. But then it kind of like it's almost as if like it it just couldn't stretch far enough, and you just it just jolts. As it uh, halts there and just like shrieks at you both. The guard in that moment is going to run behind the new way and then give it a little slash on the back with their glaive once I find their token. Six. 
completely missing and they as they trip over one of the wires and the uh, spear gets or the uh, naginata gets stuck in the grate below it is now the creature's turn making them easier to get the creature is looking around the room there's a wealth of targets that it wants but then it's the closest is Taya, and so it just crawls over the like upside down on the ceiling and down the walling here and gets on le uh, the level with you and it just towers over you. its head just touches the ceiling um and that's pretty tall considering this is a factory ceiling so like it's it's something as it looks hey down there. At Taya. and big it guy I'm just gonna do this. As it stretches one of its side arms at you to try and catch you. And then it will be your turn, Taya, after I do that. Hmm. The 16 hit? Uh, yeah. Yeah. You take 12 damage as this, you're trying to just like dodge and like using all of like the debris around you as like cover. It just, but because of how it towers with you and is able to just see out all the vantage points that it has, it's able to just pin you by the cape and just like you kind of get like choked uh, back as like you're trying to like, uh, turn around and it like pulls you back as like your cape gets um, jammed in by its uh, scythe, uh, scythe uh, paws. This is why Edna Mode said no capes. My god. <laughs> now that exists in lore. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, is it my turn? It is. As a free action, can I just, like, cut my cape? Yeah, of course. Alright, I'm gonna take my dagger and just, like, slice off the, the part of the cape that's um, being pinned down. Mm hmm I'm going to, oops, I'm going to run. I'm going to try to stay away from Rocky just in case. This is like a crane, right? I can run under this. Yeah. Okay. I want to run right to here. And then as I'm running, I'm like notching a, a, a arrow in my bow. I'm going to uh, kind of like do a little jump shot and hit back at the guy that just attacked me. Go ahead. Boop. 19 hits. Alright, and then to roll damage, I go that. I'm learning. Well done. That hits? Yeah. You also get it in one of its eyes and it shrieks and just starts clicking and stamping. It's, um... As you, like, were able to like, run away from it and it's trying to, like, pull you in as it's stamping. Um, but just unable to grab you as, like, it's trying to climb over this, um... These set of parts. And you can see some of the eggs are like just dislodging off of it from all the vigorous movement and just latching onto the body, uh, onto the, onto the grates floors. Anything else? Do I lose advantage now, or does that stay true for a little bit? I think it's just for that one help uh, on okay. the attack. We'll go back to normal. Uh, no, I'm good. It is Randall, your turn. Uh, seeing this situation in here, Randall is gonna just swindle by here and uh, I'm gonna go for an attack on this guy try to help out as much as I can go ahead that hits 18 yeah that hits uh, and it's sneak attack right so oh bingo, shit bango. yeah sneak, it would sneak attack would be triggered that'll, boom 19 that'll, damage that'll do as right. like it's focused in on Moran sorry what did you want to say yeah, you no, I, just want, I thought you were just saying it wasn't applied for a second. Sorry. Okay, yeah. As you just like circle around Moran and get in on the side, you are able to cut off the final head uh, from the base, causing all three tails to just fall into the trash. And as happens, it turns you and shrieks, and you just see it just combust as um as it's trying to like slash at Moran, but like it's pause burn away before it even reaches her and the guard turns to you randall 
and gives a very exhausted sigh of relief and then um very early thank you i come, I come point with me. my blade to him and i'm like be quiet we don't want to attract no and i i point over there to the the robot yes uh, and they turn to that as well and like gives a nod and then just beckons to come come with them and moran as that's happening you can see as like the new uh, the tails go into the trash you can see what falls out is a sun little sanic uh plushie um it's a bit deflated but like it's and it's a bit uh, worse for wear but it's still it's it's still a it's still a sonic plush at the end of the day and you can see a spirit pushing out of it and it just charges towards you and just swirls around you and you feel as a spirit circles around you you feel um you can you see a shadowy hand of hanako go to hold it for a second and then uh, um holding the spirit it got uh, hanako's hand hold onto your blade with you you now have uh, a Hello, little one inspiration thank you and but yeah the guard um is beckoning for you as well moran to come with um into the room but like it's hushing we gotta wait for our friends yeah and um do anything funny and uh you'll regret it yeah i'm still pointing my sword at him they just nod trash dog <laughs> oh <laughs> thank you yeah they, they, they just nod um Anything else you want to do, Moran? Um, yeah. I mean, uh, I don't think I have any line of sight on that. Um, that big old yokai. So what just, I'm gonna do is you get um, a sliver around the corner. I think if you step back, you'd be able to get a better shot if you wanted to. I I think it might be worth it to cover my allies as they approach. Mm -hmm. Um, what I'm going to do is manifest my echo here. Yes. And I'll put her on the board. Thank you. And uh, I'll draw my bow and I'll fire it from Hanako's space hmm. here. As you do so, you... That hits. Roll damage you create smoky wisps that like go into the grate below you and you can see them travel underneath and then form up um next uh, beside where um these barrels are and letting go of a invisible arrow your arrow that you did knock travels through hanako making its way towards the uh the juraguma and you just hear it jitter and shriek and then stomp again as you hear some of the grating underneath it cave in. Oof, scary. Um, I might as well fire another shot. I lose okay. nothing by doing so. Ah, dang it, I did that again. My bad. No worries. Uh, does hits as well. that hit? It does. If you want to okay. use that 10 damage, you can. No worries. Oh, oh. <laughs> I rolled no 10 anyway. Spirit, you did anyway. <laughs> mm. Yeah, um... And it's, it's, it's a similar motion. Um, and Hanako just right. turns to you. And this gives you a nod. Uh, and then I will go over to where the guard is beckoning. As you run around the corner, Hanako will also turn to Taya. And then give a... And just glance over in the general direction where Rocky is. And then beckon to come towards her. And Wait, you... for me to come towards her? No, 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 uh, for them to. Oh, okay. And she just elegantly wisps um, under the threshold of that one gateway. And as you make your way past the, uh, the guard, just knock three times, they'll let you in. It is rocky. I, uh... oh, go, go on can I knock three times, or you is can. that my turn? No, you can. I knock three times. Go ahead. It is now your turn, Rocky. Um... As I'm just going to quickly describe what uh, Moran sees when she knocks three times. Uh, the door very rushedly slams open. Um, as like you can see, there's a rope tied around um, the door. As like there's like a me me mechanism made uh, along these shelves to open the door and pull it shut. 
um, and you can see just a bunch of prisoners and guards uh, inside this room are rushing you to come in. And you can see they're all very rushed, scared, and in various um, state of dis uh, disarray. So this uh, this door over here, talk about? No, no, uh, just around the corner. That door's open. I'm, I am, I guess I am turned around. What, just around the corner. Around the corner over here. Maybe I just... I don't think you can see. It's just, it's just uh, but you can yeah. just, yeah. Uh, oh. Okay. Um. Then I mean I will just use my my turn to run to hang out with my gang. Mm -hmm. Uh, I guess it'd be a dash action. Yeah, go ahead. So that's thirty, and then another. Uh. 20. Yeah, I got you. You feel, in that moment, you feel your, um, uh, Randall, your feather on your hat just m below a bit for a second. Hey, careful there. As you turn. <laughs> this is a very around. important you, feather to me. You don't, you don't see Rocky when that happens. Though. You, you just feel it. You don't see the person. You don't see Rocky because it's invisible. Oh, shit. Yeah, we'll pretend you that did. You just like you just turn around and say, "Hey, careful! No one's there." You That's can just, you can assume it's just Hanako. Hanako, Hanako watch yourself. When when you when you do that, I'm trying to focus here on this guy. I have him at sword point. All right, so Rocky. Anything else? Uh, no. Nice. No. It is now the guards' turn, and the guards seeing you there. Is that is that everyone? Is that all your friends? You, is it? Because we can, we can go in. And There's they, more of us. Oh, God. Oh. Taya, where are you? No, no, don't shout, don't I'm shout. a little... A little busy. I'll be there in a sec. You see this guard pop their head around this giant uh, waste bin. Oh, not waste bin, sorry, this skip. And then, oh. That's three, but where's, the, where's four? Is, is the shadow four? No. Hey, guys. It's a point five. <laughs> the fire genasi, as I happened, is a point five. The fire genasi in that, like when you spook him, the the fire in his hair diminishes, and you just see a bald head for a second, and they whisk back very like uh, fluttery, uh, flutterily. Who said that? Oh, uh, it's me, Rocky. And they just they just swish the Naginata around and just like wave it where you are, in your direction. Hey, hey, don't be swinging. Can't you hear that? It's a ghost. Yes, it's... Yeah, it oh, haunts this prison. Be, crazy. Don't be wary. Oh. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> Yeehaw. And if you don't take us to where we need to go, it'll haunt you forever. They didn't say this place was haunted. Makes sense, of course. They lied to you. That doesn't explain what your fourth friend is, though. Where's, where's the zero, other 0 0.5, then, if that if that's 3, 1, 0 0.5? They're coming. Oh, oh, God. You're bad at math, kid. I'm dumb. I'm too much honest. As, as that's happening, the Juraguma climbs over uh, this, um, this uh, chassis and crushes it under its weight as it makes its way towards you and just swats the crane as it makes its way towards you once it gets onto the body if I want to let the token do its actual thing as it makes its way towards you actually buddy that there is our fourth member go 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 and greet him that pointing towards the giant fucking monster as you Holy. say that it turns to you I didn't mean anything by it. <laughs> and it just shrieks at you. But then with one arm, it slashes at Taya. Okay, we gotta go, gotta go back. <laughs> but Taya is able, you're able to just like duck under and it swats at the crane. And you can see the crane is just ready to collapse in on you. The mo like you, Actually, roll a deck save, yeah. I'm like, I duck and I'm like, haha, not this time. And then I look back and I'm like, oh shit. Is that, wait, is that 
Okay. Yep. I'm supposed to roll that, right? Yeah, no, yeah. You, as like it slashes uh, just over your head, you see that it, uh, it cut the crane's stance in half and the crane is about to collapse and it just is lazily, like it just smashes it into the body of the cre uh, the Juraguma and it just swats, uh, shoulders it off. But like it comes crashing down in your direction. You're able to just roll out of its way. And that was your turn. Okay, I'm going to book it because I want absolutely nothing to do with this guy. Uh, so I can move disengage. normally here, right? Mm -hmm. I'm just going to run straight to Hanako and disengage. I was going to ask if you uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I d do I have a dash action now as my main action as well? I'm trying because you get your da your as a, a you isn't it it's free action to disengage. Yeah, so it should, it should yeah. be yes. like a cunning action, isn't it? Or whatever. Yeah, like, kind of. So no, that's not it. I think no, the cunning action is to do like disengage as a free action or something like that, and then. Well, oh yeah, 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 it yeah, okay, yeah. It's a bonus action. It's a bonus. It's a bonus action. So, you, get to, you, get to so you can still dash on your turn as your yeah, you action. Can, oh, okay, you can go yeah. ahead yeah, okay. with yeah. that. Yeah, sorry, no, I. Uh, I'm getting confused with the terms. Yes. You, There's you might... so much to think about. There is. I'm going to yeah, get there is. right there. I'm going to give Hanako a little shy wave, and then I'm just going to run to there. She just watches you as you rush past her. A little bit freaky with her just wispy face. It's a little bit freaky. <laughs> <laughs> just feeling inside. Run. <laughs> Rando, it's your turn. As the gods, we gotta go. It's 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 gonna come. We gotta go. Oh, we gotta wait for it. It's one of our group members. No, 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 no. We can't wait for that one. Are you willing to wait and die, buddy? <laughs> Looks up. <laughs> and the then I'm sword. like, okay, let's go. And I like kind of like push him forward with the, with the sword and, and drop it. Mm. So you, I would allow you guys to all like just with like one like turn, be able to like just push yourselves in as it's trying to chase you. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go. Please. As you guys are like trying to push past each, not push past each, but like as a group, get through the door, it comes around the corner and like, is Hanako, what's Hanako doing out of curiosity as it's coming around the corner? Uh, standing guard basically, just being very tall and yeah, menacing. Please. She doesn't scoot. move. In that moment, they have like a little standoff as it looks down at her and it sees you and you see with two of its leggy arms reach around trying to uh, slash at you guys on the door but you guys are able to just rush in and get through um and it just looks down at hanako and tries to stamp at her but you would also be able to attack it if you wanted to like on my turn or as an opportunity attack on your turn like the, like i would kind of like, as that was part of like all of like one collective turn as you guys okay, try to get into it. the room So yeah, if you wanted, uh, it'd be your turn if you wanted to uh, use uh, Hanako in that moment. The sure, hit. but a 17 uh, no, hits that'd, Hanako. But I'd be on her turn, so the, that's after. Oh, okay. So I, I oh, would be yeah. waiting. Hanako's your turn. absolutely going to attack her. Go ahead. Um, with the katana. Oh my god. Did that dice go flying for anyone else? It did, and almost hit that one so hard. <laughs> 19 <laughs> hits. Is this like a regular uh, regular attack turn for me? Yeah. Okay, then I'm going to use extra attack. Go ahead. That hits it's as well. Sliced. And I'm going to use one of my um, echo... Um, I think it's called... Unleash, Unleash Incarnation. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Which allows me to make a, a third attack. You can. Oh, that looks like it's being that turn. Oh, oh. Um, do I still have that uh, that advantage? You do. Can I spend it? You can. I think I will. You, as you like, think about that spirit for a second. You think it's still on you, but you notice as the door's shutting, you can see Hanako's. It's actually a uh, Hanako still holding it, uh, and as it, like the, the white contrasts against uh, her, like the shadowy black, as. She just does three clean slashes and cleaving off one of its legs, and it just collapses in front of her. But as it collapses in front of her, it swats at her and does 17 hits her, doesn't it? Yes. And as like the the uh, the scythe 
pierces through her shadowy form. It crashes into the grate, causing that to like cave in. And you can see underneath it, and or you can hear underneath it, um, the sound of, or through the crashing, you can hear the sound of uh, water, um, or just the faint sound of waves crashing. Um, and Hanako just like wisps up as like um, her form is just uh, destroyed by uh, this, uh, one of these arms. And it just shrieks and jitters at the uh, location that Hanako was in. All right. Um, bonus action, resummon my echo. <laughs> Go ahead. Where do you want to summon them? Uh, inside this time. No worries. I am going to take you out of combat because as soon as like you guys are all in, the door shuts. And it rushes up to the door. And you can hear it just trying to swat in and break through. But the door is very much keeping it at bay. But you can just see it denting every now and then. And I'm going to change the music. Um, Eventually, it'll probably lose interest and go attack that robot. If I... I we can only hope so. If I do that... But yeah. As, as that happens, um, you guys are now like in here and... it's You can just hear it every now and then s trying to smash into the grate uh, or into the door, sorry, trying to break through. Um, but you, as you step in and like, but like um, letting go of that uh, for a moment and you as uh, you take in the room that you are in, it looks to be a storage room um, for like supplies that aren't, um, that are like, like tools and such and just more so uh, for like personnel. And you can just see a bunch of prisoners uh, inmates in here, like uh, as I mentioned, a bunch of inmates in disarray, and a few guards also in a similar state, and they are all just panicked as they see you. And you can see like they've like thrown a bunch of stuff against the door to kind of try barricade it, and they're on both sides of the room, like in like uh, preparation to barricade the walls. And you recognize one of them, um, Randall. Give me a second as I find. Is this the name. mean one right here? The mean one from the kitchen. It is not the mean one from the kitchen. Oh, okay. It isn't any of the um, anyone you you recall from upstairs, but it is a friend of yours, Randall. It's one of your uh, associates that gives you information. And upon recognizing and noticing you, Randall, um, I'm gonna let me find out the name for you because I can't remember where I put it down. Give me a second. It is in my notes somewhere. This is Yuka. Yuka Agata. Oh, hey, nice. Yuka. Randall. Oh. And which one is that? Is that in the middle of the room, this one? Or... It is, yeah, it's that one. Okay. Oh, thank God you're fine. How, how, how are you here? We came crashing down the elevator. Unfortunately, we... Uh, that was you? We lost someone. Yeah, that was us. Oh, gosh. Well, oh... Well, we, we've, we've lost a few as well. As you can see in the corner, uh, like the pile of a few bodies, uh, just like, just slumped, um, struggling to cling onto life, just collapsed in the corner. We, we've had a few that like just weren't able to... We're doing, we're doing the best we can, but like we, we can't do much in the supply, the supply cupboard. We'll try to remember all of them once we're out of here. Once you're out of here? You're not, you're not We're breaking. all getting out. The you you see one of these elves just turn around as, as you say that. I don't I don't know if you just noticed, buddy, but there's a bunch of monsters out there that are like we can't even get out of here. So I don't know how we're meant to get out of out of out of here. So cool it, okay? All together, we can get out of here. As and as you say, as you say, Yuka turns back to you, and you see an excitement in their eyes uh, flare up. I, I, I knew, I knew, I knew you would break us out. I knew, I knew I'd be, I'd, I'd be part of your crew. I'd, we, we, we do this. I've, I've, I've been, I've been waiting all, all this time, Randall. And now you finally made it, buddy. Yes, sir. 
as I'm gonna just get rid of the uh, the initiative. As you can hear, uh, the banging on this door now. Um, and you can see out of the window. Um, I don't know if you guys can see around this corner here. You can't, but if you get closer, you uh, you can see some of the uh, people are watching outside this window. As you can hear, just a cacophony of uh, noise of uh, yokai and ACU units fighting each other uh, amongst the scaffolding um, that surrounds this uh, giant mech. Um, and the one that like is on the wall behind you go that you guys have just come through eventually stops. And you can just hear the very muffled rumbling of it, of whatever is, or the Juraguma, um, go away. Well, that's horrifying slightly. Yeah, now we have to worry about where it went. I much preferred knowing where it was. <laughs> but, uh... I guess we should be splitting up somewhat and doing some tasks here. We wanted to remove a power source to the prison, didn't we? Power source? Um, we might we might be able to help with that. Uh, uh, what do, what do you need us for, boss? Tag me and coach. I'll do it. Uh, I would say, Tay and Moran, you two. You should take a group of these prisoners and head towards the, the 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 battery for the place, the the charge location, and that way we can get the power down and make it an easy escape. Me and Rocky will look for an escape vehicle to get us out of here. All right, sure thing, um, boss. Randall, I after this time, I know that Taya can fight very well. I trust her. I'm not sure if I feel comfortable bringing a bunch of, I don't know if I can say innocent people, but can they fight? They shrug their shoulders when you say that. Are you as sure? long as they know <laughs> that I have a duty to fulfill and I'm going to be doing their own stuff and can hold on their own, they can come with. If they're going to slow me down, I don't want anything to do with these guys. We won't get in the I way. Ju I, I just look Moran dead in the face with no expression and just say, like, that'll be a good help. All right. Hanako, uh, as you, as you, like, you get that um, comment from Randor, uh, you get, uh, you feel Hanako's uh, uh, hand on your shoulder, uh, Moran. And um, taking a glance up at her, she looks down at you and just gives you a nod. All right. Well, if, if you say so, Randall. Um, okay. Does anyone know where okay. the battery is then? I'm looking at the like prisoners and the guards yeah. and everything. The the one that was like uh, said that they don't like that, like there's no chance of getting out early. The elf. We, we've been working on the battery, but like, again, I don't know how you expect us to get out of here. All right, lead the way, big man. Well, now you got the help of of Taya and Moran. They're very, they're very useful. Also, when I say that, I like kind of take out a dagger, <laughs> and it, it's like lead the way. But also, like if you don't lead the way, you're gonna have bigger problems. <laughs> they just they so, if they just look at you. Randall, we're gonna take care of the battery and disable the power, and then we'll meet you at the docks. Uh, if you could meet us at the docks, maybe if if this is a closer place, then we could meet back here possibly. But the docks would be best probably, just because we will, me and Rocky will be getting the vehicle ready. I imagine by the time you're done. Then we should meet at the docks. Yes, absolutely. She holds out her hand to shake. Yeah, absolutely. I'll see you there. And it's a tight grip and a crystally grip at that. <laughs> <laughs> Rocky's and going I, uh, to the <laughs> I want to go over to Rocky. Oh. What you might have some cuts on you. What? <laughs> I've been. <laughs> yeah, my hand. Oh, I've got to bandage my hands. Uh, Rocky's still <laughs> invisible, ain't he? Oh yeah, is he? Yeah, hey, Rocky, where are you? <laughs> yeah, I sort of. Look, I fall below. <laughs> Rocky. I uh, I, I slightly swing my sword so that way it's like an attack, and that way I'm not invisible. <laughs> Great <laughs> jump. Does not do it. 
<laughs> whoa, oh. whoa, what the hell? Rocky. As some of the prisoners just like panic as well. I've been, and, uh, and like, and just a uh, guard stance. Yeah, I've been evolving from card tricks to just full blown magic, I guess. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I only got 39 of these hit points. Ta -da. Hey, it's really when impressive. you said that. <laughs> Uh, thanks to my, uh, the, the true magician, of course, Taya. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, thank Rocky, I, shake, I just, I, um, huh? It, she, she is holding out to shake, but also once, once she has oh. your hand, she, she says to you, we're all very serious about Sonya, and we all heard your oath, but don't throw your life away. You gotta be careful. I know... I know, I just, brief moment of, uh, you know, act first, think later kind of, kind of tendency, but I, 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 I'm thinking about it. I'll, I still plan on acting, but you know, I got a few, a uh, few other crewmen of uh, my own that I know can help me. Just gotta find them again. Good. I'll see you at the docks. See you at the docks. Taya, and, let's uh, go. Rocky wipes the blood that was on uh, Moran's hands from uh, Randall. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get this show on the road. I Taya gives a brothers. little mm. salute uh, to Randall yeah. and then shoves the guy who's leading the way. I would like to also know if you guys wanted to, you could have like spent like a short rest in here. As like there could have been a bit of time to like discuss like um, the plan if you wanted to. Um, yeah, maybe you should do rest. that. <laughs> yeah, do that for your hit dice. Uh, so how that works so, is you get yeah. to roll as many hit dice as you want to um, in this like in this little short uh, short rest. And if you click the short rest button, it will restore anything that's short rest related. Uh, can I also talk to Yuki uh, about? The location kind of where we're going with the docks and stuff yeah. like because i imagine mm -hmm. we're gonna get a separate group mm -hmm. okay so um so like i mean well there's a few paths we could take but like um i think the shortest is if we go up north we have to go through the door you guys just came through um great but like it, it, he takes you to the window oh Oh, don't worry, they're tinted. Well, it's that's fine. great. Yeah. I mean, they've been going at, at it for a while, and, like, there was more Ooh. before. <laughs> just hold, on, just... on, hold on. <laughs> take a, take a look out here, buddy. <laughs> Squeezes oh. right in between us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, they've been right, right up against yeah. that fire, Genasi. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Um, and you guys, you can just see, like, there's, like, yeah, there's... They start pointing uh, in this corner, like... Oh, there's some stairs over there that we can take. We that'll be if we follow the path up from up north, um, and then make our way down south. Um, well, I'll be I just careful, point at, I point at the mech, and I'm like, "What? What about that?" I mean, it's it's, it's not mech. finished. We 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 the ones we finished, they 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 just shipped them out. How how finished does it need to be to go? It's missing its core and engine. Oh, okay, that Both sounds pretty cool. important. Yeah, I think yeah we 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 we're, we're the owners of putting most of the things together before we put it into facility two, and that's where they do that. But like this is just this is just the chassis or chassis, sorry. Uh, but there, but we do have some shipping crates we could probably uh, like get in. Hey, how do you? Hey, I have a quick question, real quick. Uh, yeah. What? How do you? How do you call a? Uh uh armor or a big uh machine armor uh you you back the mech a joke? Oh. you back the mech it is it is also the punchline um i can't walk under these don't listen to him don't listen to him right now <laughs> i'm very stressed right now i don't got another way to work oh it's okay it. i understand you work you work through your things with jokes it's okay mm. yeah <laughs> it's a yeah. very stressful situation right now mm. do you heal yourself with your hit eyes by the, the uh, tear Oh yeah, I Perfect. needed it. <laughs> yeah, no, you're all good. You are all set. If you've clicked the short, uh, everyone asks if you guys want to click the short rest button as well. That will give you right. your short rest stuff back. Right now, Rocky don't has know more health than he should have. He has that, 46 out of yeah, 36. Yeah, that was <laughs> from a chat uh, redemption where they gave you extra hit points and you haven't taken damage since. Yeah. All right. I'll just. I'm just gonna vibe with it. I don't need to sleep. I. I chug a Red Bull. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's another thing I want to make. <laughs> 
Yeah. Um, uh. Taya's like all beat up, and she's like, "Hey, Moran, can you help me with the peroxide for my cuts? Like, this is the worst part. I, I don't like doing it myself." Yeah, sure. Um, why don't you sit down? Thank you. And then she's like braced for herself because she hates this part. It's like the mm. worst part of everything. Um, but all the all the cuts get patched. My heart, man. Yeah, Moran. Moran very carefully patches her up and bandages her. Red Bull. But yeah. Uh, Red Bull gives <laughs> you wings. Red Bull gives you fins, I think. Actually. Oh, let's do it. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, what we're going to uh, do is then we're going to split the two groups up. Um, you guys both leave for the warehouse together. Like, are you guys do going stealthily or like what's what's the situation? Oh, yeah. All right, yeah, we little. should. I do if not you guys... want to attract Mother Spider. Yeah. If you want to roll uh, stealth each for me? Wait, 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 wait. Before everybody oh, roll stealth okay. real quick, uh, do I have another merge with stone that I can cast? If you get it back on short I, rest, you should. I have no idea if I have it God or not. I'll be is. honest. I don't know if I've used it in this. I think I've used it you, today. Yeah, you used, yeah, used it at the beginning to get I don't think I... Yeah. But I don't know if it's... I don't think, think I get it. The I think merge... It's, let's see. I think it's a long rest thing. Is it... I have been only rolling low this whole campaign. <laughs> it's a good thing I have good stats. <laughs> yeah, it's long rest. Alas. Uh, oh well. Yes. Yeah, oh. No more stones. 13, I, uh, 10. Nothing. I worked my stealth. I keep losing my character sheet, sorry. Um, not 17. Stealth check. Split up and look for clues, guys. 21. Rocky's put Rocky is a sneaky snake. This is what? my favorite oh. Scooby Doo episode. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do we're gonna do it in two groups then. So we're gonna do Rocky and Randall first. And then go from there. Actually. Give me a second, let me see. Yeah, we're gonna do Rocky and Randall first. Sorry, <laughs> like I don't know why I put so much pause on that. I think um, it yeah. was hugely suspenseful. I appreciate it. Yeah, no, that was that, that was actually the goal. So yeah, you've got this group that's coming with you. They're gonna be on your stealth. Great, so, Rocky, yeah. you did great. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you yeah. you guys are fairly stealthy. Like, there's the noise of you guys like walking across the grates as you guys are going. Yeah, but... Randall's like claws. Mm. <laughs> tink, 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 tink. <laughs> I gotta get some slippers. Hmm. Rocky's making that spider noise, so uh, <laughs> just for fun. Oh yeah, the... <laughs> I can't do it. Don't can't you're gonna attract it. <laughs> As you say <laughs> that, you can see the dent it made uh, in the wall, and like the uh, tracks that it makes throughout, like denting into the grate. And you can see through this grate here. Uh, you can see some of like um, ocean water, uh, waving onto uh, the set of the docks underneath the, the um, this floor. Through the grating, uh, the damage. All right, that's there. a good sign. But yeah, uh, and you cause like, right, follow me, this way. And Let's go, Rocky. Sneaks around the corner, and searching, and you can hear the sound of dripping acid on down oh, here. Oh boy! Oh boy! Bloop. Quick! Bloop! <laughs> <laughs> and then they just start running. I'm like, mimicking everything you hear. <laughs> I'm working on some new, new, new skills. Oh my god, he got stretched by the creature. <laughs> oh, oh no, no, it happened again. He's stretching He's my new reality. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Randall, I don't feel so good. Oh, I don't know, but is there a button for this door? As you get close to the door, it actually just oh shit, ching opens. Oh, so and they you, have these in the I, I like Walmart. extended my hand like just as it happened to make it look like I did it. Yeah, magic. You can see just in the corner of your eye, nothing. You can't. I see. can't see anything. Yeah, and neither can I. No, this, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh yeah, that we're we're on emergency power right now. Um, but this way, follow this way. Dude, aren't you making light with your hair? Yeah. You want me? To, I'll, I'll go scout up ahead. Yeah, you please. Thank you, Yuki. I think they might know a walking, a walking torch approaching them. I'll be honest. 
Well, I would prefer that than walking it's fine. into the darkness where 30 monsters are. It's fine this way. As like you, okay. the, the other group, your group is like following behind you guys. I need to get them. What, guys? I well, don't wait. see anything else that way either. <laughs> that is wow. that vending machine and that's it. Oh, that isn't a vending machine. Yeah. That's like a little power like screen like that. It's like, it's like as if it's on, like a battery and it's got like some like machinery behind it. This group's following you. They've got a few guards with them. And they're just, like, they have eight hour energy. And as you like walk past these doors, they open up. Oh no. Whoa. Uh, okay, that does not look good. Don't go in there. And as like you uh, were, oh. that's, that's just one of the labs. Don't worry about it. Like it's some of the some some of some of the uh, scientists are like there, like doing experiments on us every now and then. There's a dog in there. Harder. I love labs. No scientists. Oh, oh. Yeah, no, I, no. I peer in. Like, are there any scientists in there right now? There are not. Well, if we walk in, there'll be two scientists in there. Ain't that right? Hey, fist bump. <laughs> oh, sorry, wrong Sam. Never mind. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm quite the mastermind. <laughs> oh man! Fuck's sake! <laughs> Fucking Boo ding. on that one! Boo. Yeah, ding dong! <laughs> As you, like, I don't know who you're talking about. If you like, want uh, to, like, did you want to step into the that room? I kind of, yeah. I, I just peered in a little bit. I didn't want to like, mm. I don't know. I don't want to go too crazy in here because there might just be like, well, yeah. I mean, you see things. You see. Lining the walls, like like you see these giant tubes, are like the same ones like the, in that room that had Sanyi in and the other yokai. And you can see like there's a bunch of computers and like they've got like just a bunch of jargon on their screens, but like they look like they're like also like flashing and like uh, glitching and jittering and st stuttering. And every now and you can see like you see one of like underneath one of the desks, you can see one of the computers is on fire, but it's white and that's glitching uh, from time to time. And you can just see inside uh, these are like a bunch of yokai. Uh, of various shapes and sizes and limbs and you can see some of them are covered in cybernetics and wiring uh and you also see a few see a few acu units in here and one person made from comp out of complete gold and who what, like, do is we you, know the no, we don't it's, know it's not Kano, it's, right? it's, it's just some fire genasi prisoner okay cool well sanyi has obviously been here Gosh. Let's uh, skedaddle. Don't want to be hanging around here too long. Mm. Yeah, like as like you kind of just peek in and like, oh no no no! Like the the, the fire chassis immediately gets scared and it's like runs runs through. Don't worry, don't worry. He won't get you. As I won't let that happen. And as you say that. This door opens. Don't. Okay, well, maybe. Okay. As you run past it. Oh! And you can see okay. covered in liquid a giant hulking yokai on the other side of the door. And it looks. All its eyes converge at once on all on you three. Alongside the other guys behind you. And. How do you guys initially react to that? Is there an any type of panel on the side of these doors that is like an override? There is. I would immediately try to like jerry rig that to like freaking close. Roll for me. Oh no. <laughs> I don't like that room at all. Roll for me. Win slight of hand. Slight of hand? Slight of hand. As you go to try and like just mess with this panel on the side. I can't roll good, folks, I'm sorry. You can't. Your clawed hand is a bit too big for this. And it's a bit too pointy and jagged. Um and so as soon as you touch it, you kinda of just like you just scratch against some of the screen and the buttons, and it kind of crashes in on itself. And it starts glitching. Oh, God. And as that starts glitching, you can hear in the room uh, a bunch of glitching noises as well. As you hear something heavy thud as a, a bit of glass breaks. Um, and as that happens, you can, this explodes beside you. Um, causing this to happen. Great. 
as the light goes out, you see two tiny spirits. You see a little lime spirit make its way towards out out of the like the the damage uh, towards um, towards you, Randall, and swirl around you, and like it kind of like latches onto your feather. And Rocky, you see. You see this tiny uh, ghost make its way towards you, and it looks in through the doorway, uh, and you see it get spooked and scared, and it quickly runs towards you and grabs onto your leg, giving you a second inspiration. Oh. You now have two inspirations. And Randall, nice. you have inspiration. Oh, fuck, I should have used that. No, you haven't now. But, like, I should I should have used it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, and like, oof. So yeah, like that, and that as that happens, you like you hear like a bunch of like computers breaking and glitching, and the some of the yokai fall out, and you how hear. Bi- how big is this thing? Like, would it cover the door? The this this like power yeah, station seems, yeah. thing? Yeah, it probably would. Yeah. Right. Everybody you, push. You four. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. Rocky, you too. Like you as guys, you, as you say that, they instinctively right, rush towards it and push. And I'm helping. I'm gonna get like I'm gonna have them roll a collective strength. Can I help? Because I mean, I want to help, and you I can. know my strength is probably better than these random doohickeys. Doohickeys, I mean, doohickeys. not bad. Yeah, you all uh, ran with your help, Rocky. Yeah, you all five of you push at this gate. Yuka rushes ahead away, spooked, and you are able to create a blockade with that. And they like hold on to it and pin it down. As a, we got this, go ahead. As they're holding, yeah, thank you. As they're holding it down. Go. We'll, we'll scout ahead. Thank you. Yeah. Oh boy, howdy! I can't see a damn thing. <laughs> you. Maybe if you took off your sunglasses. You might. I think help. you. You might oh, be able shit. to. Yeah, you can see <laughs> into the mech room. Uh, just around the corner. I you can't can see. see it. You can't. So oh, you can't. Yeah. Right That's spooky. Yeah. The, the light is just giving you not it enough looked vision. Looks like there was a person there, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't, don't want to, I don't, w- sorry, I don't want to go too close to the door. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't see roll, it there. It's literally roll, in the darkness. Roll stealth for me. Or oh, dexterity. Roll no, no, just Randall. Okay. Roll dex. Oh, thank God. Okay. okay. 20 unnatural. 20. <laughs> that is one unnatural 20, I'll oh, tell you that's, that's, Oh my God, I'll take it right now. I've been rolling so bad. Yeah, no, you're all good. You are able to just like, as soon as you like see the door come into your vision, you're like, oh shit, roll out of the way. And you just. But what about down this way? Do you see any? You don't see any doors. Actually, actually if you're in a perception, you can. Oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> oh, okay, good, good. A Ooh. slew of good rolls. A slew yeah. of good ones. You can't see any like doors or anything on the side. You see if like there's some like machinery whirring and going away. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. See, and now I see, see the mech. The... Round the corner, yeah, you see around the corner the giant hulking mech. Um, it, it's almost like a mech skeleton is the way I would describe it. And you can see this ACU here uh, has been pushed back by the Shabbaton as it just towers over them. And with one swing with its hammer, the ACU gets thrown off and plummets. Over the railing. Well, and you hear the chains jingle as it turns and looks down into down into the, the abyss and looks at the mech for a bit. Do you, th- do you think we could push it off, Rocky? I think so. If we try. I mean, all of us together, especially. There's just like more of us. I mean, are they going to even want to? Are they going to want to? I mean, like, seems like a pretty good idea, doesn't it? Yeah. Give me, give me a second, please. I, I can't see right here. There's a scary wall again. Yeah. <laughs> if you just hold on a second there for me, Randall. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't like that. I don't like it. I don't like the implication of what I'm seeing. I don't see yeah, it. Or not see it if we don't <laughs> As... meta game. <laughs> <laughs> As you guys make your way around the corner and you I consider the plan to push up the Shaban. And you've got these, you've got Yuka and the uh, the two guards following behind. 
you have an inkling that their fire is creating like a little casting a silhouette of you guys over here <laughs> and you've like for a moment you can you, you you're certain like you can see it stretch out his arm that, and like you see his arms covered in eyes and you it's almost as if like you think it's trying to look around the corner with these eye arms at you guys well if we're gonna do this we're gonna have to do it fast hey. but oh no Ooh. It doesn't. The narrator said, "But, <laughs> but as, but like it pulls its arm away, and then it goes, turns around." Okay, okay. Actually, I don't know if you... wait. So it's facing us now? No, it's not facing or... you guys anymore. It's, it's, just, it's, it's... I just want to. I want to listen. Is it, is it going away? Yeah, it's walking away. As you oh, hear shit. the, the faint like sound of against, I'm gonna. You you hear, you can hear just. Give me a second. You can hear the faint sound of the ocean coming from below as you hear the sound of something splatting. Uh, something metallic hits stone and just explode. Oh my god, it took that long for the ACU to fall? Oh. Or is that not what that was? That was something. <laughs> you can assume that was what it was. Holy crap! Oh. Okay, well, let's stay away from those railings, please. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll be honest, I wasn't tempted to really get near them in the first place, but I appreciate it regardless. You know, I'm just giving you tips. You hear the lion leader, everybody? He said to stay away from the railings. Okay. As you say hey, that. Hey, that robot didn't know to do that, apparently. Yuka. It's... Starts running. Where are you go? Oh, oh. Don't run! We nearly there, he shouts. Yuki! It's Yuka! Yuka, sorry! What's, I... 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 What are you... What are you doing? Where... Is this... To you, the port? you ran away. Yeah, down, down there, as you turn to see the Shaban has turned to you guys, running. Oh crap, okay, I guess I'm bolting. <laughs> <laughs> and the guards are coming with you. But like as soon as like they see the the Shibatan getting close and you guys are making your way, they halt in place. Oh crap! And create a wall with themselves to uh. Ooh. No, yo, come to let with you guys me. Go. <laughs> as the they're Shibatan guards, Rocky. They're doing what they have to do. Straight into them with its ham with its giant hammer. Oh, good lord. That would give you. It'll be remembered. Um, about thirty feet of movement if you want to move. Thirty feet. Yeah, it, like how do you want? How do you guys want to like? Yeah, you guys. I, yeah. I'm gonna put you in uh, initiative because I don't in think you'll uh, you will be able to to do it. So we're gonna we're gonna put you in uh, a quick little 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 uh, combat scenario. If you could roll initiative for me. That are cool. Ah. And you got, what did you, 6.15. And let's roll you, Kaz. Damn, Kaz, this is some tense D&D, &D, I gotta say. Like, Jesus <laughs> Christ, man. What can I say? <laughs> what can I say? Except I think I've actually welcome. always had this... I, I, I host a horror D&D, &D, and yet... I'm always more scared playing Kaz's campaigns. <laughs> yeah, it is. Randall, your turn. You're the first to go. I'm going to have you because I think you guys, you were over here, I believe. Oh, uh, so yeah, sorry. I, I'm going to redact what I said about giving you guys uh, 30 feet of movement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're thrown in the hornet's nest. All right. Uh, well, I'm just going to like yell to these guards like strike true my friends giving them advantage on their attacks mm -hmm. and getting the hell out of here oh 30 so i'm right there i'm just getting out of here come on rocky and yuka let's go i, I will I'm coming I'm right behind you yuka uh, also rushes 
and using their dash action, they're going to rush down the stairs, and you just hear their footsteps clang as they make their way down. All right, scout ahead if it's good. Mm-hmm. They're going to attack now, the guards. And they had advantage, didn't they? Yeah. Well, the, the, one of them. Well, yeah. I, I guess just one of them will, yeah. yeah. Oh, God, Nat 20. Mm-hmm. Yo! It's the truest strike you guys have ever seen. <laughs> as like this one it's like just just gives you a nod. You can see a tear drip down their eye as they stare what they can assume will be death. As but like they're they they're doing their service. they they've as a child of the state they had one responsibility and they're enacting it as a guard. Dealing fourteen damage on this one. And the other, uh, the other uh, guard is going to uh, slash alongside, following the uh, following suit of their brother. And they create like an X slash together, causing the uh, two of the eyes to get uh, slits in them on the uh, on the grayish band. And you see when they slit at the eye, the uh, the slits start bleeding white fire. That starts glitching a surge, and it just sh causes a shriek. Give me a second. It does a harrowing shriek that causes all the other yokai on the uh, the scaffolding that you guys are on to turn to you. Oh. And even the ACU units on the on the on the on the walkway turn. And I'm gonna have them all. Now we really gotta go. Act on the Shaban's turn. Rocky, it's your turn. Um, Go I will run. be as as like you like uh, are like running past the guard. Say, "Go, brother, go." They say to you. All right, I'm gonna run thirty feet here. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I I want to shoot my arrow. Go ahead to kind of just help at least a little bit. Um, longbow. Uh, oh, twenty, baby. Hey, yo, that hits. Go ahead. It already it automatically does its nat twenty stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah. If you just yeah, if you just keep the long but think it'll auto do it. Fourteen. Beauty. Perfect. As as you do that, your arrow pierces into the ship pattern, causing the side of it to completely cave in, and you like create like a huge hole from where like it explodes as it like pushes through it. Um there was it feels almost like you've you've held back a lot and you know what it's like that's like your first um arrow shot in a very long time and it just it feels very relieving in that moment as and satisfying as that all happens and the shibatan just collapses as that happens nice. and it just whispers away and um turns into white fire but as it's whispering away you hear those glitching noises. As uh, give me a second. Oh no. Never good. <laughs> a wide range of glitching noises. As you see the ACU begin glitching in place. As a glitchy step. Over here. Uh huh? Please turn and fight the thing, though. As the Shibatan wisps away. And I'm going to put it over here. They oh, did it! Anyway. And they all just turn in on uh, the guards. And as you get a good look at the ACU unit in this moment, you can see their faces are cracked. And in the cracks... You can see, like, the, the faceplate is like a sheet of glass. And behind it, you can see the target eyes of Yokai behind. And they're just jittering and searching around. And some of, and this one here, you can see turns, to, uh, it, with its eyes, turns to you. And you just hear them just jittering. As they point at you. Well, it's time to go. 
All right. That is n not anything I want to mess with. Oh. Rocky, I don't want to leave you here. I'm, I'm just going to hold my action and, until Rocky's gone. Mm -hmm. Yuka, you hear, is just running down the stairs. You got this, Yuka. I believe in you. And the prison, uh, the guards are going to keep fighting, trying to just fight these ACUs that are like are in their space. Just slashing away at them. Rocky, it's your turn. All right. Um, I mean, I'm just going to go ahead and dash uh, along up here. Mm -hmm. You'll be able to run with, with him, Randall, then on your turn. Randall's running with me now because he held his action, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, I believe that's all I can do, all I need to do at the moment. Perfect. So, yeah. And I'm going to have you, uh, as like, you can hear, as like this, as the fighting go on, you guys, you can hear the guards fighting away at the, um, at the ACU. And as you're hearing the clanging and uh, the clatter, you hear, you hear uh, the sound of combat stopping. As you're making your way and you nearly re get to the bottom, uh, you get the smell of the sea salt wafting upwards. As you can see, hundreds of crates below you. I'm gonna put you on the uh, the docks map. If I do this, you guys will be over here. You guys can zoom out if you want to see. You can you get you get a pretty good view of the docks around you, as the giant mech casts a shadow, um, along with the giant um, the, the the scaffolding above. And but as you are just about to reach the bomb, you see one of the Genasi's bodies plummet and just smash into uh, this crate here. And you hear the the, sh the the shelling of this uh, crate explode as uh, they crash through it. And you make it. You get a glance. Um, you get a glance looking in. Uh, it's very difficult with like the lack of light, but like you can see some of the light from upstairs. As you you can just see amongst like with splattered of splatters of blood. Um, and just charcoal dust. You can see the glint of gold, as you can see the statues of various prisoners within. What the hell? No. And is there anything, any, any reaction you wanna, any, any initial reaction you guys have to that? Oh, uh, just really disgust just... and shock. I mean, yeah. And with that, I'm going to ask that we're going to move over to Taya and Moran. All right. Quick question. Yes. Is, um, is Nobu one of the statues? No. Not today. <laughs> okay. Oh. Yeah, no, no, we sat you today. Um, I am going to, now, if you give me a second, I'm going to change the music. Or put the music back on, even. Uh, as we're going to go to you guys, and you guys are, is you guys have a, the similar, like, uh, start, where you guys all leave the, um, the, the storage room together and make your way back in, into the um into the, the oh so oh oh no <laughs> into the no, you're, you're good i just i, I like you just got clipped into the wall <laughs> <laughs> you guys make your way into the uh, the hallway here um not the hallway sorry the um the the warehouse again and you can see you you guys see the 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 dripping of acid also uh and you could see the various um mess of um damage left by the the uh this giant spider yokai um 
but like as like you are following the lead of that one uh, um prisoner i don't have the token of them so i'm gonna just quickly find a bald elf there we are that's the bald elf i think it's this one they they reluctantly as you're pushing them in front of uh, you uh Taya, they're just making their way and rushing they're like not super stealthy um and like every now and then they do clank against the um the what's it called the metal hey keep it down they just and they, they just turn to you very reluctantly and like walk a lot slower and kind of like shrink in their space for uh, and they as they get close to this door they um it just zoom, opens if i bring you guys down with me what i'm gonna do is by the way i'll have like your like uh your i guess uh your your retinue they'll come all at once like when something happens but they're like they're essentially just in tow um but this one will be the one that like is guiding you guys so yeah you um as you guys are making your way you can see into as you, as you guys like make your way into this hallway you get a glance into this one room here and you can see the familiar glint of a uh, sol uh, solidified gold uh, shabaton encapsulated in one of these test tubes. Moran, you might want to come take a look at this. As you can hear the sound of uh, fighting coming from within the room as well, I would like to know. I, uh, I come up and I want to sort of approach the door. Is, is that, it's like a window, yeah? This is a door. This one, this one's open. As if something is on the other side that I kept it open. Got it. Um, can I take a stealthy peek inside? Go ahead. Roll stealth. Oh! Oh no. <laughs> As you try to peek into the room, you get very much How would you react like like cuz like as like, are you peeking in cuz you saw the gold uh, the gold uh, the gold shaban or is it like you're just intrigued by the all the noise I'm coming? I'm intrigued through? by the sound and because Taya told me to look. Mm -hmm. So yeah, as you from that you get very taken aback very suddenly when you see the golden uh, shabaton. Yeah, she she kind of like stumbles backward, but it probably makes a noise. And she just looks at Taya like super wide-eyed. As Taya returns the look. <laughs> as we you, should avoid this. As you do that, a, one of those creatures from the egg, those spider yokai, jumps out at you, Moran, from around the corner. As I am going to okay. have it just roll to just like try and bite you. It does. It latches yeah, onto you around and it just starts taking. It just starts gnawing at you. you Awful. Know, roll me a con save. Sure. You have. Is it poison? I'm trying to. What's this one? You have advantage, so if you want to roll uh, again with that. Well, you don't need okay. to. I mean, you already succeed, but if you want to. Just to see if you can pawn this little I succeeded with a six? You succeeded? Oh, wait, no, shit. Sorry, oh, I'm dumb. I, I thought it was, I thought it was a different... I thought I was looking at it the wrong way. Sorry, my mistake. I completely forgot okay. that's how con saves work. I'm dumb. My brain just fired. <laughs> no, you're all good. Uh, I rolled a 13. 13. You don't take that much damage, also. There we go. That's four. Wait, hang on. What's your what's your full HP, Moran? It is um fifty-four? Fifty one? So. I'm not I think it's fifty four. I thought it was fifty-four. Perfect. Yeah. You you succeed. As like you feel it like you can see like just trying to dribble this 
just acidic poisonous um liquid through its teeth but you're able to just like just swat it away and you don't feel its sting is as painful as it looks but you can assume okay, that's also from like you're just your resistance to poison but it does that spider is just like just jittering as it's spidering and like you can hear i tell you, you can see one of the oni does turn in your direction but as it turns uh one of the guards is able to get a slash in on it and in the panic of everything that's happening the guard that's with you in instinctively goes to attack the spider causing the other ones to uh get in and start beating up the spider uh wow well, Taya, are we doing this should we help them we really need to keep our focus uh, <laughs> randall and rocky could be in danger right now we need to get the battery fixed and as like right. you, as you're even questioning that the guard also mentioned no no you guys go well well we'll, we'll, co we'll cover you okay all right fight well gives a nod as they're still stabbing at the spider and then rushing in to attack the uh the only and the other juraguma when you oh. do run past the room though i will also note that the shabatan's eyes even while in captain gold you see the eyes drift towards you Oh, say, Moran, like, just visibly shudders, like, head to toe. Um, through our short rest, I know the way. Um, yeah, sure they, they'll be fine. They they would have given you um, a guide to the battery. And I'll go this way, Moran. Mm -hmm. And All I'll right. start heading Let's towards go. the battery. Mm -hmm. So when we get there, what do we need to do? Um... I'm not exactly sure. You're more technical with that stuff since Kano helped you. Uh, maybe you can poke around and figure it out. I'll... I think I'm gonna stay watch, because I don't know if those guys will actually be able to hold it off. Uh, Alright. And I don't want anyone interrupting you. Alright, I'll do my best. I'm not super tech savvy, but... I'll give it a go. It's right in here. If you need me, just call out. I'll be here. Okay. Give me a second as I reveal the room. One Stay second. sharp, Taya. You too. Just give me a moment before you step into the room because I need to check a thing. My heart's pounding. <laughs> Taya's going to take out her... her uh dagger and her uh, short sword and kind of get into a ready position just mm. facing the open hallway yeah when you do that uh hanako stands in the threshold of the door and... i uh, i look back at Taya and i nod and then i, I go fully into the room mm -hmm. and as hanako like stands in, in in the threshold looks down at you uh Taya, for a second and then turns back and follows Moran. And Moran, you feel Hanako's um, presence loom over you, just just uh, just to be ready. And as you step in this room, you can see it's very mechanically intense. There's like a giant battery and um, just doohickeys all around you, it's similar to like the fridge contraption like you and Kano had like messed with. But there's also a giant computer desk, and you can just see this giant electrical mechanism whirring and spinning and just surging outwards as if i do this just surging outwards as um if i do the thing i wanted to do yeah as I said, you're just looking down at all the the mechanisms you hear the door open and yeah you hear the sound of sparking fire as in steps the fiery 
Warden Hera Hikana. Moran draws her sword. That's the wrong token. <laughs> <laughs> it's so tiny. She be. Give me a second. Yeah, she steps in and shuts the door behind her. And walking past the barrier, she just turns to you. Hello. What Moran. did you do to Taya? Nothing. You're Give a liar. Me, let, me, let me find the token. Because <laughs> I am. Yeah, I'm... take your time. Where is. Where'd I put it? I'll put on a little show. Thanks. <laughs> Do a spin. Yeah. Oh. oh, you're both spinning. But yeah, she just steps in <laughs> -da. and round the corner. I've done nothing to Taya. She's just then behind that where? door. Actually, I don't gets, believe you. She gets. She walks closer. M Moran to levels her sword at her, like like holding her full sword arm out. What do you want? I I want to stop your little insurrection, your little and bring you all back in. I, I don't like this game you're playing, Moran. What what do you think you're doing? What 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 does some some shrine maiden who puts her nose in where it shouldn't be doing here putting her nose in another place where it shouldn't be warden this shrine maiden would have had no reason to leave her shrine if you people hadn't wandered kasakawa turning people into gold for no reason a gross and pointless loss of life it's too late to stop us. Your factory's already in shambles. The yokai are running rampant. And I don't know what you did to my friend, but I'll put you down and I'll go find out. Pointless? Mess? We'll see about that. Hmm. I don't... I don't think you understand what's happening here. Sunny. Sonny doing what he does, walking around, turning turning people to gold. Admittedly, your shrine wasn't meant to get involved, but it's for the greater good, Moran. I, 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 I know I, exactly I where you can put it. your greater good. You can shove it. I don't want it. If our lives are just casualties, you can write off that easy. I don't want to hear another word from you. She steps forward again. And she... Take one more step and I'll cut you down. As you say that, give me a second again if I just need to grab a little quick thing. You hear the door open once more. And you see smoke begin to start trailing in. And as that smoke trails in and swirls around the room and it turns very dark in a moment, but then shifts to a very clear white. And you can see almost in that moment, you can see your own smoke wisping off. Um, amongst this mist, creating a yin and yang contrast as they swirl around each other. As this, uh, the smoke that entered in that wasn't Hanako looms behind you. I'm what? gonna step out of the smoke. 
with my short sword, short, short sword in hand. I appear behind Moran, and I give Hikana a quick look, and sh she meets my eye. Yeah, Moran, you see or Hanako. Mar uh, not Hanako, sorry. Uh, Hikana's gaze shift from she's she's looking you dead in the eyes, but then she sh uh, her green eyes shift to who's to the person behind you. Before you can react, I take my short sword and aim it to the upper left side of your back, and it plunges deep into Moran. As you plunge in, you see the black shadow that was swirling with you in that moment appear, looking at you, uh, back to back with Moran. It as it plunges in, you, you get the visage of Hanako uh, once again uh, in her elven form and then begins to glitter gold. And then Moran, you, you feel this blade plunge through you. She buckles forward, catching herself on the edge of the desk and, and turns and sees Taya and there's no anger, just shock. <laughs> what? This is a lot bigger than any of us. This isn't what I wanted, but I kind of already said it. You know too much, and you're in the way. And it's my yeah. job. It was my job to take you up. I'm so sorry. <laughs> You were... <laughs> you were gonna kill Sanyi! We were gonna kill Sanyi together. There's no way we could take him. Not you, not me, not any of us. He's way stronger than anyone in our party, and... I didn't expect to live! <laughs> I didn't even want to! But we were gonna kill Sanyi! And you're a coward if you think that you're not strong enough. I I didn't want this for <laughs> Hanako. She, she buckles onto the ground. You. But I had to. I I had to. You're a coward, Taya. We were doing this to free ourselves. But I can clearly see that you're still enslaved. As Moran, you feel the blood trickle down you. Uh, you see um, Taya, her fabrics turn dark, almost black. And you see all the lilies on her, her clothing, um, on her uh, hairy, turn black as well in the blood. And you can see on her sleeve, uh, the, holding onto uh, you and the short sword, the three slashes uh, that she had caught um, while um, um, opening the fridge and uh, shocking herself by accident. Those, they're covered in, uh, in her blood. Hey, it's gonna hey, take a step forward. Taya. Just a little bit closer to Moran. Yes? It's okay. I know you're scared. You don't have to do this anymore. Okay? I forgive I don't think, you. I don't think Taya responds here. Mm. I don't think Moran says anymore. Um, Taya, Taya has never cried during any of her assassinations. She's been very well trained, but you can see under the mask uh, a streak of wet that just glows from the, the computer screens. Um, as she approaches Moran and cuts off a square cloth from the hor Hayori oh, yeah. and covers Moran's face as she, uh, as she stops. Breathing. Clear 
or she spends a quick second just lying, uh, sitting with um, Moran, and she she says a quick prayer. Um, I don't know if Moran would respect the the prayers that Taya has um, learned. They might not see eye to eye, but that's the only way that she can show her respect. And then she stands up and faces the warden. It is done.
Bonsoir. Welcome back to Jailhouse Rocky. I'm uh, just going to have to get rid of uh, that token there. Uh, Don't say I, it like that. Sorry. Wow. Sorry. I <laughs> know that was really that was ruthless. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me just make your heads a bit bigger. Give me a second. And we got to hide Moran. Do that. Murder hat. Oh my god, that's actually really good. What did I do? <laughs> no, murder well, has Rocky. I think it's because you were blushing or something. Am I? Nah. I'm just normal facing here, people. Don't worry. I'm just normal facing over here, people. Whoa. That's what it is. Now nah, I think it's a Randall plane. I'm, tr I'm, I'm a flying face right now. I'm a plane. Hey there, Randall plane. <laughs> No worries, AJ, it's okay. Um, yeah, if you guys are ready to get back into things, let's let's discuss. I'm gonna just stop that, and then I'm gonna do this. But yeah, um, Taya, you are in the in the 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 the, the battery room. Um, yeah, um, Hikana, Hikana. She oh, uh, sorry, she has her back turned to you. Uh, but once Moran's uh, body had hit the floor, um, she turns and then just looks down at the tiefling and then looks up at you and roll perception while, while this is happening. Well, maybe you sure could. Thing. Oh, uh, Randall, you're okay. Uh, remind me to give you advantage. Okay. I can just put it on my sheet with the thing yeah. i think yeah i didn't remember to give it to you with your 15 you see when moran moran's um as like her blood just seeps into the grate and her harry and her her uniform gets dark darkened by blood um you can see she begins wisping um and the smell of sandalwood and other uh and like incense and other shiny smells just fill the room and waft from Moran uh, around you. I want to turn to Hikana mm -hmm. and go and just basically talk and like uh, I know a lot of things have changed. Is the plan still on? You know the deal. You leave Sani alone and you work for us. You can walk free. Once you have Randall, yeah. You will be. We will let you go. But if you let that snake through my hands one more time, as like her hair I... begins flaring as she's saying that, and her eyes in that moment turn from green to gold, and then a fiery red, as she just stares into your eyes. I understand. You don't need to... Yeah. I've been working really hard. Randall doesn't suspect a thing. Good. Where is he? They said they were going down to the docks. I'm sure they're there by now. Um, let's... I can go meet up with them again. And, uh... We can finish this. She gives you a nod. I'll see you there. And then right she, she lets you through the room uh, first. And as you step out, you see the um, you got a, a chance to glance at the the mechanism and uh the, the machine in the back of the room and you can just see it just just faintly start smoking as you make your way out of the room and back to the warehouse um you know that like you uh, from like your discussion with the um with the the um, the other prison inmates and the guards you know where the exit is uh i mean the docks are 
so you would uh, the only trouble you would have had was from any yokai or uh, guards on the way but as like you any the fire gymnastic guards that you did see along the way they they you you didn't there was no bother whatsoever on, uh, towards you um there were like some of the acus hesitated in the moment but they never like led up or not uh acted upon acted upon it and and you um what's the word and like the yokai that like were in your path like the guards act and the the uh, the acus actively uh went to defend you and stop you um would you have taken the path um that like randall would have taken or would you've gone like the closest way from where you are Probably the closest way. I actually know um, the the <laughs> warehouse the and stuff yeah. pretty well because one, I was here before um, when I first came in, but two, I, I've been told about some other things. So I would probably yeah. go as fast as possible. Yeah, you would take the southern um, staircase down, and yeah, it's a fairly uneventful way down it feels very it feels very eerily just silent compared to all the chaos that was happening around um and as you make your way down um the steps you you could see on the other side of the um the uh the docks you can see uh randall are you over here taya and you guys are over there Can they see me? Uh, Randall, uh, Rocky, roll me perception. Uh, I would imagine in general we're probably like looking for ships more so, but I yeah. roll perception anyway. Yeah. Not looking good for me in general. <laughs> God oh, damn. Perception, perception. This is my fuego. My fuego. Yeah. Right this, now. this is this is yeah. you get this. This, this is, is what it's like. This is what you you deserve. This. <laughs> As... Also got nothing. So. Nothing. Let's see. Yeah, you guys don't see uh, Taya coming in. You're looking at the waters as you just watch the tide coming in and then out. In and out. There's no signs of a ship. No no ships. But you get a chance to look in some of the crates, some of the ones that aren't open or closed. That is the wrong noise. <laughs> Sorry, I was going to put on like, the waves. You... You can see, thank you, go. thank you, thank you, Jacob. <laughs> you can see in some of the crates and the boxes, you can see just the statues of people made of gold. And in this one that you are closest to, you see what looks like almost as if it was just being placed. Uh, it's a lot. It's not like the other ones are a lot more um, presentable in their ang angling. But you see this in the front of all of them. Oh my god. Oh. The statue of Kano in guards up moments after uh, Sani's attack. As you hear, um, actually, uh, uh, Teo, how would you be coming up behind them as you see them uh, looking at the statue of Kena? They haven't noticed me, so I think yeah, I haven't. will take a second just to like assess the situation. Um, when they have a, a good enough look and they're clearly distracted, I think I'm going to run out and, and basically uh, reveal myself and be like, guys, we have to go now. Why? What's up? I mean, yeah, but where's so many questions? The Where? spiders, they, they caught us, um, I barely got away, I, I don't know where Miran is, like, I think she didn't make it, uh, we can't stay here, they're, they're coming, we have to figure out what we're doing, what are we doing? As you get closer and closer, you, you, Randall and Rocky, you guys get the smell of a shrine in that moment and the smell of sandalwood incense and the hint of lavender and oranges 
and you can just see a bit of smoke wisping off of Taya's shoulder. Taya, where's Moran? I told you already. We had a fight with the, the spider. And as you say that, can I can I insight? Go ahead, roll insight. Seventeen. Seventeen. Do you want to try and deny Taya? Uh, I think Taya's a little bit shaken up. I can try. What would that be? That would be a deception. Oh. Oh. You, you feel like that, like the way she's speaking, her words carry true, and she's shaken. She's she's something's clearly like you can see even there's like um, you can see um, some of her uh, scarf, uh, her cloak, uh, mantle has um is uh wet from you can you can only deduce and assume that there's tears um but you you can just you you don't you don't expect uh you you you, you let you 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 believe her but as you let your guard down and accept uh Taya's words you hear the foot the sound of metal footsteps on the on the steps as you hear hikana's voice boom through the darks Stop lying to him, Taya. Just tell him straight. Tell us what, Taya? Taya doesn't say anything, and she's going to try to grab Randall. Um, and uh, what's the word? There's a word. Grapple. Grapple? I don't yeah. know. Basically, I'm trying to make it so you can't move. Yeah. Roll yeah, yeah. strength. Yeah. And... Grab. Uh, puts his handle on his sword. Or puts his hand on his yeah. the handle of his sword. Roll a... Oh. Boy, howdy. I roll dexterity, don't I, or something like that? What do I do? I think you roll a strength save. Can I, I help him? Okay. Can I give him a help? Yeah, you can try help with advantage. Uh, with advantage, Rocky. I mean, uh, Randall. As I try to find the thing I'm looking for. Um, Restrained. Thank you. <laughs> oh, boy, howdy. Damn. <laughs> don't do oh, this! No. Yeah, as you, as you, like even with Rocky trying to help and pull uh, Taya away, uh, Taya, you 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 have Randall and you're holding on. You 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 you've, you've caught him. As you uh, see, Rocky at this point pulls out both his swords to like hold on to them. As you to... go to do that, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Hikana's voice booms as you her steps make her way down, and you can hear. The metallic footsteps of ACU units following behind. I wouldn't want to get into this mess, Rocky, when you have such a easy sweep under the rug if you let this go. Don't don't let him ruin this for you. I'm not letting him ruin this for me. I'm letting you. You're the you're the one that's kind of, you know, all up in our business right now, so I'd appreciate you to step aside. You all up in my business? I mean, me you all are up all in... up in our business. No. I think it's the oh, other yeah. end. You uh, are making a mess I of think... my prison. You are making a mess of my guards. You are making a mess of my reputation. And how is that? By us leaving... Yes. By us realizing how absolutely insane and neurotic you have been in your prison. Us choosing our freedom, that's, that's, that's getting in your way. She makes her way down the steps and she's on the, on the platform with you now. You don't get to choose uh, your where? freedom. So I haven't put a token out. I'm, I'm trying to, I'm, okay, trying to I was like... I'm trying to find something. <laughs> um, oh no, my game. One second. <laughs> I accidentally got rattled, kicked out of roll 20. One second. I'm going back in. No worries. Uh, uh, just a quick question about about uh, the situation I'm in. 
Uh, yes. How have you grappled me, Taya? I just want to know. Like, oh, like hello. What, what position? Thank you, Miss, for reaching uh, out stream. Considering it was, like, a pretty high roll, I think I just, like, tackle you to the ground. Okay. Yeah, you've you've gotten pinned to the ground, and, like, Rocky, um, she's, yeah, she's just coming up to you, and she's not getting right up to your space. Yuka is also with you, panicked behind uh, the crates. Um, you Randall, can... we're gonna get out of here. No, he's not. Oh, uh, yeah, he is. There you are. Rocky is invisible. His face is invisible. You need to do a. Oh, is he? Emote. Oh, Rocky, a your emote. <laughs> oh shoot! As you. Uh... There you go. As as you start like making faces, he just sighs. <laughs> The Children of the State program. Sometimes I think it's very aptly named. Don't you see how your life could improve? Don't you see what you could become? Um, and she's breathing very heavily now. Why? Why do you want Randall? Oh, is it because right. simply he was in the prison? I was in the prison, so I guess you might as well take me back too. Should you not? What was that? Sorry. Why? Why Randall? Is it because he's just a prisoner? Because he escaped? He made a mockery of you? Because I think I think we all did. She looks including bad. me. Have you pinned Rocky so she's facing, um, she's facing you guys, um, Taya? Yeah, I'd say we're probably, like, um, side on. Rocky had stepped back a little bit, uh, after trying to help get mm -hmm. Taya off, but, uh, we can see Hikana quite clearly. May, may I do something? Go ahead. What would you try? Okay. Can I can I bite Taya's head and br draconic breath? You can. Just as she's about to say, has he told you about Randall? You you do that reaction. If you want to use your bite action and then use your draconic breath, and we're gonna do a little uh, a little initiative. All right. But I'd be able to respond to his uh, his bite with an uncanny dodge. You would, yes. Just it I'm just Rick, halves the attack. Rick rhyming this. I would say. So maybe instead of as like ahead. as like his, you kind of like ah like you have a very good stance on him. So like you'd be able to like like as he like instinctively got like as he goes about you instinctively are just able to dodge you when you like roll anything or do anything you 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 got that. Um. And I'm I'm gonna turn get, I'm gonna have a moment for a second. I'm gonna turn to Randall and be like, "You're weak. Your heart is weak. If you didn't have a heart, if you behaved properly, they would have turned to you and you would have been able to get out no problem. But you're too soft. And this is what." This is what I have to do. Too soft to get out. We're almost out of here with what I've been doing. And is that when you, you want know to very well. Is that when, Rando, you want to do your burning breath? Absolutely, yeah, then. Uh, so you have to succeed on a DC 13 dexterity save. Mm -hmm. Or I guess you already... Or did you do that already? No, 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 no I'll that do was, that that was from your bite. Damn, yeah. yeah. Uh, but so then you take half damage, and then you already half that in a sense. So, like, is that only like two damage, or how does that work? <laughs> Sorry, it's half damage, isn't it? From Dragon Breath. Yeah, but it's like it's like half because she succeeded, and then like half because of the other thing that happened, or the uncanny dodge happened for the other attack. Yeah, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. You also, as that happens, you can see. 
in the um in the crate uh, with the gold statues you can see a lime spirit and a another spirit um that is it um it shimmers like like a silvery metallic substance um that looks almost like liquid and like as they both just fly towards you uh, randall they swirl around you gifting you two advantages uh, when you want to use them nice i have to use that next but yeah uh, how much am i taking <laughs> how much damage are you taking yeah uh, i believe just four oh did you already roll the damage for yeah it's four so yeah you take yeah, four damage just just half on a on a on mm. success i think yeah as randall goes to bite you uh tear you just like you you let go of him uh, instinctively dodging his bite but as he like turns and gets back up he just sort of fires uh out of his breath uh do you want, do you want to scrub your uh, your uh your dragon breath just like a flush of dark energy just black ichor comes out like kind of mm. mucusy almost it's gross it's disgusting and it just feels like acid burning onto you pretty much it feels and, like, like death and you're, sickness mm, you're able to like just get your cape and like just like swat it and catch it uh, but just like some of it does get your fingers and singes. Anything else? Oh, it, that would now be into the turn of combat. And it is the ACU's turn. And Hikana oh, no. turns to you, Rocky. What will you do? She says with a very flustered and angry tone as her hair is surging Jacob okay, so so um is so Randall still being no not by, even Ra Matea? Randall's okay, fine no, no, no. Okay. uh Randall's being able to break free um oh I will go ahead and I Randall what I, should I a fight? Should I be on the offensive or defensive? As you say that, <laughs> I see you've decided then. Take him as well. Um, Hikana says as she points at uh, you, uh, Rocky, and the ACUs charge towards you and uh, two on Randall. Well, I mean, is it? Oh, it's their turn. Yeah, yeah it's their turn. <laughs> I'm sorry for getting you into this mess, Rocky. There doesn't hey. seem to be a ship here that we can escape on. You'll have to swim. She says with a smirk. And then the two ACUs uh, that are closest to you guys slash. This one's first on Rocky and then this one is on Randall. And then the one on the side is going to fire a hand crossbow that they form out of their wrist. Uh, does the 19 hit Randall? Uh, yes. There he is. Uh, Rocky, you're able to just p uh, catch with your two uh, katanas drawn out, blocking uh, this one ACU. And Randall, uh, like using the crane to create cover, you're able to use uh, that. Uh, you're able to use that as cover from the the, the crossbow bolt. But you are the Nag Naginata does slash at you, dealing four damage. It's but a scratch. It is Taya's turn. Um, I'm going to do Scorching Ray. Mm -hmm. um, I get three rays of fire. I'm going to throw two of them at uh, Randall, and one of them goes kind of rogue oh, at Rocky. Oh, shit! You want to roll that for me, sorry? Yeah, I'm just oh. reading because I yeah, don't know how it works. That's okay. I get attacking more than one person. Yeah, so you get to roll it twice. Uh, no, 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 you get... Oh, uh, yeah, sure. So yeah, let's just see if it attacks. So you roll that, like you'd roll, yeah, exactly, uh, for as many times as you want to attack. Um, as like this is happening, you also notice climbing out of some of the crates, off of the mech, and just like making their way through some of like the labyrinthian like crates and stuff. You can see yokai all around and guards fighting them. As you can hear the sound of lightning surging around you uh, from up above. Um, uh, who were you hitting with? Oh, sorry. One of them will hit uh, Randall. One of them will hit Rocky. Mm -hmm. yeah, you get one more. As it well. lands. Yeah. 
Uh, it's only 2d whatever no, the damage is. So that's so... 2d6 for each one. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, there's three of them, yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll put two towards uh, Randall. Brutal. Oh, thank that God. That one doesn't hit. Oh. Oh. So 18 and 18 do hit then. So this is first for yeah. Rocky. Yep. You take 10. And Randall, you only take three. Um, do you want to describe Woo! what your Scorching Ray looks like? Basically, like... Taya has like white eyes behind her mask. Uh, the eye color like shifts a little bit as these bolts come piercing out of her her fingertips and going straight uh, at her targets. Like it's quite quick. It's like a very flash of light, and then things go back to normal. Mm. Uh, I think that's gonna be all for my turn. You can Just see. A quick hit. As this is, as like you're like over her Taya's shoulder, Randall, you can see her kind of has a very like angry smile on her face as she's watching you fighting uh, Taya. It is Rocky your turn, unless there's anything else you want to do, Taya. Yep. Yeah, before before the turn, Taya's just gonna call out. It's not too late, Randall. You can still fall in line, and then we don't have to worry about any of this anymore. I don't know if you've noticed, but falling in line isn't quite my style. Oh. The order of this place is madness. Your defiance Taya. will be your downfall. Taya, what happened to Moran? And Did you? As you say that, Rocky, you see the smoking uh, smoke on her shoulder leap off of Taya and form into the the shadowy visage of Hanako behind Taya and you can't like you you threw all the dark smoke you can't see any of the features but you sh you can that she is fury thank you Epi. Mm. Um, I'm not sure I was trying to find it. She, I couldn't find it. There it is. Um, but yeah, she is Fury in this moment as she's also going to get added to the turn order. Awesome. Um, oh. Then is it my turn now to attack? It is your turn, yeah. All right. Uh, I still have two inspiration, but since I got kicked out of rule 20 earlier, so I, yeah, um, I will fix, pick those back on you. Just want to let you know. I'm going to go ahead and do my uh, double katana. Uh, you know, like my katana attack as well as the bonus action katana. I'm gonna do one against the uh, actually, yeah, I'm gonna do one against the this uh, I forget what they're called. Um, uh, the ACUs, guy. yeah, go ahead, the ACUs, and then one against um, Taya, yeah. Uh, so my first one that is 24 to hit, that hits. That. and that is nine slashing damage against this dude. Mm hmm. Um, and then for my one against Taya, that's the one. That's twenty to hit a dirty twenty. That hits. And um, that is uh, I wait, oh yeah, six. So should, five, yeah. Wait, so it gets plus so five on top uh, of that, so it's, it becomes um eleven. Yeah. Cool. Oh wait, no, it becomes six. It gets plus no. five. So yeah, no, it's Because I rolled a one. No, sorry, yeah, my mistake. Yeah, no, no, that's what I meant. Sorry. It becomes 11. Okay, all right, I see. Okay. Uh, so six damage uh, against Taya. You just create like um, a shockwave as like your two katana slash off of each other, creating a spark that like as it hits into the ACU, it immediately cr shatters the screen on that one uh, that you're fighting. It didn't do right. anything. But, um,. As it shatters that screen, and like uh, you catch Taya, you see uh, Randall and Taya, uh, Taya. You can see in the corner of your eye the Kano uh, spirit wobble in a second and fall over. As it falls over, you see a golden fireball spirit leap out of it and fly towards Rocky, uh, giving you one hit point. He lives in you. <laughs> yeah. Like this old candy climactic. <laughs> I was like, we're getting another person to fight for us. Someone else is going to, you know, 
be on our side, I get one HP. Awesome. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. I'll take it. Thank you so much. Oh, uh, that was his last hit point. Oh, good lord. Um, Anything all else? right, I guess that was the end games. of my turn. Oh my god. <laughs> Saved it just for you. Awesome. Mm. Thank Thanks, Kano. As you, uh, 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 sorry, go on. Yeah. I, 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 I want to for a split second. I mean, obviously, I can't like rule for the sake of role playing. Um, you, you claim we're on the wrong side, to, except you're the one who killed someone you claim to be your friend, and you're about to do the same again. So maybe you should be the one to reevaluate yourself. Uh, and that's the end of my turn. And as you say that, you, you hear. It's my time from Yuka behind you guys. I'll save you, Randall. And he just rushes and jumps over you and shrieking like a fucking wild monkey. Leaps on top of Taya and tries to grapple her. Could you roll Good job, me a Yuka. Could you roll me a strength save, uh, Taya? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you get knocked back as you get pinned down by uh, Yuka. But that's and that's all he's gonna do. Knock in Taya prone. What the hell? Get off me! And he's just shrieking in your ear. No! <laughs> Poor Randall! Thank you, Yuka, you will be remembered. And you just hear the uh the annoyed tone from uh Hikana from behind. Your ability to draw the most annoying of crewmates astounds me. As she but I am draws able to draw crewmates. Her Naginata. It's your turn. Uh, I am going to strike at Taya. Mm -hmm. uh, will that uh, be with advantage because she's prone? It would or... be. Hits. Oh, it hits. It can only get better though. Oh no. Uh, roll damage. Oh. Uh, that is fourteen damage. Fourteen. An HP left. Mm -hmm. As you get, uh, as you're like trying to dodge and get nicked by Randall's short shot, you. Feel fire swirl behind you, Randall, as you feel Taya, uh, not Taya, sorry, he kind of oh. grab you and then pull you back and try to slash you with her Naginata. Uh, also on my turn, though, uh, I would also have said to, like, to Rocky, like, finish her off, Rocky, finish Taya! And her giving him advantage with uh, his, his next attack. <laughs> I didn't mean to click that button. So you're able to like dodge as she pulls you aside and pulled you, uh, focusing onto her. She then shouts a command at the ACUs to all uh, start attacking uh, on you guys. So they're gonna attack you, Rocky. And they get a plus two on top of this. That's a 20. Dealing seven, not seven, sorry, six damage. Oh. As the ACU just like, almost as if like they've just been like re recharged with energy, and like um, tossing away your uh, your your slash and just going for a sta uh, stab at you, and this one's also going to stab at you, Randall. Misses. A Thirteen hit. You're able to dodge that as well. As like he kind of pulls away, they that causes them to like miscalculate. But the one that's firing at you is going to try and shoot as well. Misses as well. I'm just like dodging yeah. like Matrix style a little bit like, whoa, whoa, jeez. Rocky, if you want to click the short rest button, because you now have a rejuvenating spirit. As you feel that one golden fireball on you, you recognize that as Kano's energy. In that moment, you feel Kano's spirit burn through you and bring, um, give you extra life. Um, right. Roll me a d6. You me roll your d6? Yeah. Oh no, so, Sam, uh, you'd need to roll a d6 for me. 
Sam. And, no. Yes, Sam. Uh, Sam East. And you get healed by... And if you wanted to use a hit dice, you could. Uh, I, I'm good on hit. I'm above my, my max, so... No worries. And with that, you would also get any of your... Um, you get to pick two of your abilities that, like, require, like, long rest. They have been brought back right. up to... Uh, you can use those two points to um, recharge any one of your, like, things. If you... So if you want, like, for example, if you wanted to recharge Pass Without Trace, you could recharge and your Action Surge or your Second Wind. Okay, I'm doing, uh, for sure, Action Surge and, um... Uh... I will also... I actually have not used my Fighting Spear yet, so I'm going to leave that. And then I'm going to go ahead and bring my, my... My Second Wind as well. Go ahead. As this is all happening around you, you just see Yokai and more guards just like coming out of nowhere um like making their way into the the docks and just fighting around you and like there's a lot of like di varying size yoko like it's a lot of the larger ones that you're seeing uh here he's fighting away at the guards and one you, way or another taya this is it for you and you just you can see from above lightning surging um through the grating and the, the 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 scaffolding above starts smoking as you can see this mech also starts um smoking you're a fool to the end randall it is now. It's a fool to no one hanako in this moment is going to try and stab at you uh Taya. But that's not her sheet. Let me pull up Moran, 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 Moran. Twenty hits. <laughs> this hit. <laughs> it hits. As you get Hanako's blade plunged straight into your shoulder, the same shoulder had her uh, smoke wisp off you. You see Taya um, get pinned down by Hanako, and as that's happening, Yuka is kind of like in shock from seeing uh, from the what's it called um, from seeing the the shadow attack Taya and moves or scooches away. And it is now the ACU's units. Quick, quick second. That yeah. did twelve damage. That right? did. You would be on your death saves. Okay. I nod at, at Hanako. She looks at you. She doesn't react. She just. You can just feel the fury emanating off of her, as the two ACU's beside Hanako slash at her. Hello? Hello? Oh. Sorry, sorry, I thought you just cut out for a second. Completely whiffing it though. But the one on the side is going to try and fire their longbow. I mean, longbow, sorry, short sword. And catches her. And as the arrow fires through, Hanukkah smashes into one of these crates. You see her wispy form just disappear. Like... Randall sighs heavily again. Just sad to see a, a, a remnant of Moran leave again. As Taya, could you roll me a death save? How do I do that? Oh, I found it. That's a success. Rocky, it's your turn. Alright, so these uh, machine people are up again. Um, you can see more there's... coming as well. Oh dang! Okay, well, but they're also being my by I, Yokai. I'm gonna go ahead and start attacking the main lady. Go ahead. 
for the main person. Ones. Uh, using my my uh, my attacks, and then you said I get an advantage based off of what Randall did for me, right? Yeah. I don't know what okay. you get advantage cool. on this attack. Yeah. All right. So this this is the one with is this? Uh, I guess I'll roll just because he didn't have twenty. Yeah. Yep. My Let's... advantage. Oh. Uh, no, I that mean a... twenty five to hit. Absolutely, I'm sure. Uh, that is seven slashing damage. Uh, and then I'll use my my bonus um, mm -hmm. katana attack for tw twelve. Actually, I'll go ahead and use my inspiration or go one ahead. of my inspirations. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> I will use my last inspiration? Question mark. You wouldn't be able to do that, sadly. No. Okay. Yeah. As you try, right. as you get out of the first one, she snarls at you, and then tosses your katana out of your hand not the hand, sorry just away from her and like almost a put, like okay. pushes you back into the crate and then mm -hmm. just shouts back at you why would you follow this fool with you all he brings well, is just death and and problems don't you're you dare I... say that <laughs> you're the one trying about to the kill sewers. us so you bring death we'll talk about the sewers later randall <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, and do my action surge and do one more attack. Go ahead against her. Uh, t -t 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 come on, come on, come on! No. <laughs> As you go to attack the second time, would you want to use your inspiration? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna use my inspiration. <laughs> come on, a that 19 does, hit. That does hit. Okay, sick. 13 damage. All right. I'm dumb. I should like that's not going to be zero. That's going to be none. She just snarls again as you just like cut out her splint and her uh, cause some of it to just like uh, break off. Anything else? Cool. Uh, no, I have nothing else I can do. Yuka's gonna panic as seeing the spirit on Taya and is gonna just like try to step away and run away, giving All right. attack of opportunity to the ACU. Yuka! Stay safe! Oh. Oh, no. As he rushes past... Um, as he rushes past, you just see the ACU just slash with no, like, even care. It was almost like from the slash of attacking Hanako and catches Yuka. And you just see Yuka just get nicked in the back and just collapse onto the floor. <laughs> Sound suppression got you. I'm so sorry. It's not my fault. It has never been my fault. Can Taya speak? From, yeah, you'd be uh, able to, yeah. She's gonna say, the more mistakes you make, the more lives you will cost. These people, these people's lives are on your hands, Randall. And as she says that, Hikana also shouts at you, Randall. Tell him about the mines. And it will be your turn. I am going to attack with advantage because I'm using the inspiration. Go ahead. Who are you hitting? Uh, the, the warden. Yeah, that hits. I am saying nothing. That does that, uh, that does a bit though. And she just snarls as she gets pushed back by you. That that is uh seventeen damage. Mm -hmm. I I've anything else? Oh. Uh, and then I I turn to Rocky and I say, Don't let their words like unwaver you stay true we're we're in this together my friend all right and the way I, I see it is you haven't killed any of my friends so and as you say don't uh, say all of that you see her form a fiery whip in her hand and she lashes it towards you Randall as she steps back once more 
That's the wrong character. I see Hikana, I see Hanakon, I think they're just the same thing. Could you roll me a deck save? In response uh, me, to me, right? Yes. Oh. Um, what Rocky said about uh, Randall not having killed any of his friends. Uh, Taya's gonna say, "You do not know how much blood this man has shed to get where he is." Shut up! As you say that, you hear running down the stairs the sound of fourteen prisoners rushing in downstairs and just jump onto a wave of acu and yokai that are circling around you guys as from upstairs you see the the um the paneling surging once more and you hear the sound in the distance of a uh of an explosion as you you see just what collapses from the ceiling a smoking um mechanism uh or the the, the smoking battery that was from um above as th this mech over here also starts smoking and just falling apart on its chains as the chains just snag and just get like pull uh de-strained amongst all the explosion as the ceiling starts caving in on itself pulled by the weight of the mech as it crashes and collapses into all of the um all of these yokai here and just creating a wave of glitching and jittering noises as they just crash and go up in a blaze of white lightning and white fire as Hikana in that moment is she's too focused in on the fight to notice the prison above collapsing in on itself you do succeed but you do get pulled away from Taya uh, but you don't take any damage as it kind of tries to pull you towards her. And then... She is going to... Command the ACUs to step forward once again and fight you two. And go for a slash on you both. I hate that like it was gonna go BC. Oh my god. Let's go. Oh man. But in my heart people right in, now, I'm telling you. <laughs> in that moment, Yuka's body is able to just uh, even in death, Yuka is was able to be of assistance and tr goes to trip up one of the ACUs, causing them to completely whiff their attack. Well this one This one gets caught by surprise by uh the yokai up on this crane that body causes the crane to just swing causing the um the crane once again to come to your defense randall and block um you from the acu attack it is now their turn though crane stance my favorite you hear hikana just shout over you heal her uh to the acus and oh shit the one that is jittering um the one that with a cracked faceplate begins to start jittering in a very hushed tone as it you see its hand kind of like fold out of its not out of itself but to its sides and it becomes an injection uh, on its um, on its wrist, and it just plunges the injection into uh, Moran's uh, not Moran, sorry, uh, Taya's leg, and you see the blue liquid in its arm just go down into uh, Taya uh, into Taya. And in that sudden moment, Taya, you feel rejuvenated, but you also feel a very crazed, sudden. Energy. Okay. 
you are now back up as the ACU looks to be shaking in um, as it tries to hold itself up that one uh, this one here uh, you notice is very much drained of all its energy in that moment um, but the one next to you um, Randall is going to try and attack you in the back and the other one is going to try and fire at you oh my god 18 hits though 18 hits the one in the back that gets caught by the crane is able to just pushes the crane to the side with a lot of force, causing the, this yokai to go flying uh, off the crane and causing the crane to spin off its hinges and fall into the water. Oh, and there goes my cover. And catches you with um, a slash on the back as uh, you're being pulled by uh, Hikana. As the yokai that was on top of the crane gets launched onto the other ACU, causing it to like completely miss its attack and get knocked prone by the yokai that's like landing on top of him. Tear, you are back up. It's your turn. If I'm correct, I can do a sneak attack, right? Because I've got the you have allies, yes. uh, ACUs. Yes. Yeah. So I'm going to use my dagger to perform a sneak attack against uh, Rocky. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm assuming that doesn't hit. That doesn't hit, sadly. But as you go to attack uh, with your dagger on Rocky, um, as Rocky's focus is moved away to Hikana, um, you see a hand, a shadowy hand, um, that is that comes off of uh, Rocky and pushes your dagger away as it smokes. Um, and goes to hold onto Rocky's uh, katana handle, uh, the left hand specifically. And you see his left arm smoking. Uh, Rocky, in this moment, you are filled with too much adrenaline to notice at the, at the exact moment. After attempting to slash, I'm going to disengage, pull back my knife, mm -hmm. uh, and just kind of move back a little bit uh, behind this box here. Yes. And that will be my turn. Yeah, as you as you as you rush behind, use here kind of shot. Use your range, girl. Just at you. Actually, is this a box I can climb up on behind me? This thing here. Let me see. It would be. Yeah. That's I'm going to stand on the box. Right? Yep. Go ahead. You have the high ground now. Oh no. Don't over run again. Hmm. Um, I'm gonna end my turn. No worries. It is now Rocky Rocktoberfest. What would you like to do? <laughs> oh, wait. Uh... oh, I'm done. Yeah, what's up? Give me what a second. Happened? I did a thing that was wrong. Right. Give me time to quickly see your initiative rolls. I'm very sorry, <laughs> I, I, I've lost your initiatives. Oh, there you go, 17. So yeah, uh, she went above you. So yeah, it's your turn, Rocky. All right. Um, I am going to go ahead and run. I kind of want to do like a run, jump, attack, and attack this lady, uh, the warden. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just for sort of fancy. I'm going to go ahead and do that both with both my katanas. Not me, like, you know. Yeah. Uh, first. Uh, here's my main one. 14, does, does that hit? That misses. She, <laughs> as you go to slash her, she catches your, uh, your katana with a naginata and then just twists it, uh, disarm, like not disarming you, but like causing you to like kind of get just baffled in that moment for a second. All right. And then with my second katana, that is uh, a 17 to hit. You catch hit. her. Yeah. And but with the second one, one, she's she's too focused on the one and she catches oh, you. Get it. You I, are able to I, catch I, her. With eight more at 26. That's okay. Or 23. That is seven. Seven damage. Seven that hits. Anything else? Um, I don't think so. Cause that was my bonus action. Yeah, there's nothing else I can do. 
It is now. That's the end of my turn. Mm -hmm. Randall, it's your turn now. Okay, I am going to... Uh, so am I still attached to this whip thing? or how does No, that it, work? it just pulled you towards her and facing her. Okay, so I'm going to pivot and attack this guy. Mm -hmm. My short sword... 21 hits. Oh, actually, I'll use my uh, advantage on that one and see if I can get in that 20. Go ahead. Oh, man. It was almost... It was, it was close. <laughs> looking like... Go ahead. Seven. Seven damage. Uh, because no sneak attack. But mm -hmm. also, uh, would it be possible if I could try to use my... Uh, oh, what is it called again? It's not telekinesis. I always get this mixed up. My psionic mind to try to mimic uh, the Warden's speech into uh, this ACU's mind and say, heal him too, in her voice. Yeah. Roll deception. Because okay. it's a contextually, it's a, bit, it's a bit different to the last time this happened. Yeah, you're able to 20. convince the ACU to do that. And you see the AC with the, you see this tiny dreg of blue liquid in his arm, and it turns towards Yuka and plunges it into his foot. And as you see the liquid drain, you see the AC just drop and collapse, and just you, you see through the very the various exhausts of the uh, the AC's body, you just see it just wisp away, and just go. Gone. And Yuka, you see the foot just kind of sp just spasm for a hot second. But you're not sure if it fully worked. Oh, come on, buddy. You got this. We got it. We need you to help against Taya. And then I'll, uh, this won't provoke opportunity attack. I don't think against the, uh, this ACU, but I'm going to go here and maybe get a little bit more cover. I don't know. I'll use Kano. <laughs> you want to use Kano? I will. If Kano I is to. on the ground. You'd have to use strength to try and move him. I'll, uh, okay, I'll try. I'll try. I'm not very <laughs> strong. You're lifting a solid gold Kano? <laughs> yeah. My goodness. No, okay, Kano I'm alone is it. hefty. I'm laying beside it, apparently. <laughs> yeah, you just like kind of like quickly just get to the floor and just like get in the shadow of Kano's solid gold body. I'm like kind of like in in his like stance of like attack. I'm in like I'm, I'm inside his arms like he's hugging me. Mm. <laughs> and as you do that, Rand uh, Randall, you feel a fireball spirit just reach over, as if like the size of one of Kano's arms reaches over and hugs you. You're having a little cuddle. Don't worry, buddy. I'm I'll figure out a way to get you out of this. As that warmth gives you eight hit points. And then it is now uh, Hikon's turn. Anything else you want to do, sorry? Uh, no, that's it pretty much, yeah. Oh, just okay. kind of want to, like, I'm, like, ducking cover here. Yeah. It's Hikon's turn, and Hikon just turns to Rocky, and she just shrugs her head. And just angrily snarls, such a disappointment. And she is going to menacingly attack you with her Naginata and just use as much of her force and energy in the body to like just toss you aside and then kick you into the crate. As Rocky, your body just crashes into the crate and you just get like covered. Well, not covered, but you're like, your body's like um what's the word Pro uh, propped up against all of these gold uh golden statues of people and could you roll me a intelligent no sorry a, a what's it wisdom save wisdom save yay 16. you are terrified of ikana in this moment as in like with this like in this dark golden room you feel sh everything goes dark as you look at hikana in this moment and her hair is just flaring off like like she's like a volcano in this moment as she just looks at you seething with furious anger 
you are oh. frightened. Uh. And then she turns back to Randall. And then charges in towards him and tries to stab down at him. But you will have a Kano's body as cover. And she just nicks at Kano's, um, one of Kano's arms. And she just hisses at you. The ACU is also going to try and attack you. Oh, that was the wrong character, sorry. And the one that's cut, like, on top of the, like, the yokai, that has been attacked by the yokai is, like, out of commission in this moment. 22 hits. 20 hits. I'm just saying, I rolled a bunch of attacks. It would have been the 8, so I'd miss. Oh, no, sorry. Yeah, okay. no, it is the 22. Sorry, you're right. Sorry. My mistake. <laughs> as, although I kind of misses, the ACU uses that as a way to calculate, where, like, where to strike best. And just gets you, and you just feel some of your uh, your um, your gemstones crack off. Taya is your turn. Taya draws her longbow, and she notches an arrow and aims it straight to, at Yuka. I'm gonna mm -hmm. use sharpshooter, which I, it says I can add a minus five penalty to the attack roll, but if it hits, I add plus ten to the attack damage. Okay. And I'm going to try to shoot him. He has no armor. On. Does that be does it go by minus five? Yeah. Does it hit? I mean it's I'd say yeah, my boy's prone. He's he's, he's nothing. He's not moving, he doesn't he's, he's just there on the floor. You get him. So it'll do whatever the damage I roll plus ten. It wouldn't matter, to be honest. Because you get him. He only had one hit point in it. As you could get, like, he's just about to get up right now. You can see his body getting up. You see one of Taya's arrows pierce through him. And you could drops again. Taya, you die today. Not if you die first. And that'll be my end, end of my turn. And when you say that, you hear Hikana just says, Say it, sister. Very menacingly. Yes, queen, slay. <laughs> wow. It is your turn. <laughs> yeah, they just fucking. What, what a slayer. she's not alone moment. <laughs> Shut up, man. Oh. <laughs> Girls get it done. <laughs> that was a better one. That was a better moment. I can't fucking believe this. I'm over here like, just is that, is, I feel like, is that the time to throw this into the Marvel movie? <laughs> really? I was like, they just like, take, like fucking just destroying Rocky. These are the bad people. <laughs> is Rocky your turn? You're frightened, by the way, of Hikana in this moment. At the end of your turn, you can try to... You can't actively go towards her. Okay. So you'd have to go into the crate to get out to like move. Actually, you'd be able to go push through the side. If you wanted to push through the side like this way, like uh, to the left, like right here, that you'd have to like I'd say roll a acrobatic athletics to try get through, um, but you could roll through this side. Roll through. not roll through, sorry, yeah, push through that side without without much this, struggle. Like over over yeah, here, yeah. Okay, well then I push through that side. Um, then I'm gonna use my movement run over here. Mm -hmm. That should be 30 feet exactly right there. Uh, how to high is that crate? Can I still reach it's five feet. her? Yeah, you'd be, able, you'd be able to reach her. She's. Uh, huh? Her, her ankle comes to your eye level. Okay, yeah. Then I'm going to go ahead and do my, my same thing where I have, I'm going to attack and bonus attack. Actually, actually, I'm going to go ahead and use my fighting spear, or one of my fighting spirits as my bonus action first um and this basically gives uh me advantage on all attack rules until the end of uh or until the end of this current turn uh, along with five uh, additional temporary hit points mm -hmm. 
So I'm gonna use one of that, and then I'm gonna swing two-handed weapon style. And it was with advantage. Uh, 17, but I'll go ahead and roll for a, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. That's, yep. uh, with, that hits. With how high she up she does, it would count as a bit of cover. So you would miss. I would miss with the 17? Miss. Yeah, with the 17. You said, like, uh, my, my yeah, your eye level, eye level like, is still... <laughs> your eye level is at her ankles, but, like, it's still a bit of a reach. She'd still have cover through being above you. Okay. So I don't hit. Does that make sense? Like, well, am I... I guess so. Uh, yeah. Is I mean, that a I'll, couple? I'll does cover work like that? Does cover work vertically like that? I assume it does. Uh, probably. I just don't know if she is considered covered if I am right there reaching her. That's fair. Yeah, ignore what I just uh, but, said. I mean, I can, I mean, you no, can, no, no, you no, can that's fair, fair. I mean, no, that's fair. I, I, I'll take the DM. I will say. <laughs> no, no, it's fair. No, no, no. I, ignore what, no, no it hits. <laughs> okay, you take 15 damage. That's Rocky does get you. Okay. <laughs> when you attack her this time, Rocky, you are able to get um get sight of your uh, katana, uh, your your left hand, and you see that is smoking, and you oh. can see the shadow of another katana on top of your katana, or like merged in with your katana, as that slashes at uh, Mar uh Taya as well. Oh. Okay, uh, Rocky does not know what to think of that at the moment, but he is just kind of living in the, in the moment. So he's not going to think about it too much. Uh, that is the end of his turn. I would say I probably got knocked off the box by that then, right? I'd describe it also like you're kind of like, you, you get caught, but like you, you just kind of like wobble in place, but you're able to still be on top. Okay. But as like you are getting, as like you get caught by this you see the smoke wisp off the katana and once again you have the towering presence of hanako behind you looming over after rocky hits Taya, yes she's gonna say you can't save everyone rocky you can only save yourself well uh i guess i'll have to try you know can't let go. Uh, can't let another friend go. And uh, well, I guess I can let one more friend go, and that will end up being you. So. Such foolish words. Eh. He knows the song. See. So, um. <laughs> What did you want to do again? Sorry, Rocky. Uh, repeat that again. That was the end of my turn. Oh, no, I'm done. Yeah, with Hanako now looming over uh, you, uh, Taya. Rocky, you see Hanako now. And you were able to... You, you do... By the time she appears, you realize she was... That, that smoky presence that was on you. And... Oh, hey. She still is just seething with fury as she towers over both of you and when you call out her she turns to you for a second and you just see her furious eyes pierce through you hmm. it's now your turn randall After especially seeing Yuka like go down like that again, uh, Randall is gonna strike at the warden with like intense uh, fury with his short sword, uh, using one of I think the last advantage that I have for mm -hmm. this attack. Oh. Uh, well, sixteen does that that it misses? Does, it misses. So he he whiffs it and just in that fury says, "The sewers were not my fault." The mines were not my fault, and the shipyards were not my fault either. I'm trying, and you thwart me at every turn. I'm just trying to get people to their freedom, trying to get family to their families. Her nostrils just flare. Anything else? Uh, that's all I can really do here. 
once again, she goes for a slash on you. If I find her, she... And in both of your angers, you're, you both appear to have gotten a lot sloppier in your uh, fighting presence. And I are just very... Almost like through, like, you're, like, you're, it's just, like, this is just, like, the end, your hatred. This isn't, like, any of your skill or your, um, your abilities shining through in this fight. Like, in this one moment where you're fighting, you two are very much in a situation where, like, it's very primal, is the way I would describe it. And you two are just catching each other and blocking each other's attacks. But the ACU behind you goes for a slash do your worst misses misses you as like her naginata actually catches the acu's naginata and pushes it away um and it is now Taya, your turn they is pretty weakened even with the injection i feel like she's she's gone through a lot with this fight she's going to reach out a hand towards Rocky, and as she does, her fingers begin to dissolve into that mist again, uh, as she had done in front of Moran, and slowly she starts to disappear into a, a cloud of mist, because I'm going to use Misty Step. Hey. What are you Misty Step into? I will be going behind Rocky. Oh. So it kind of like... It flows around him yeah. and then reconvenes right behind him uh, on the ground. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to re-emerge and try to attack Go ahead. with my dagger. Does that invoke sneak attack? I s like, I feel like that makes sense for it to do, but I don't think it does, does it? If Hanako counts as... Uh, I don't think so. She does not count as your ally. Yeah, if there was someone closer, but no. Yeah. But you get him. You just get a stab in the back as you feel the smoke wisp around you, Rocky. If you want to roll damage. It is now. <laughs> and that'll be my turn. No worries. Before you attack Rocky, Hanako steps forward once more. And as you reform and catch Rocky in the back, she turns to you, Taya, and then she just launches herself at you, going for a slash with her katana. It's as you feel a very sudden just force drive straight into you and push you to the ground once again as Hanako looms over you. Um back to, like not almost back to back with Rocky. As she plunges her katana even deeper in and she doesn't stop and I am and Taya you feel as you get Hanako um loom over you in that moment. I'm going to do this. Give me a second. And it's going to feel very sudden, but it's how it is. As when Hanako's body, uh, not body, sorry, her katana plunges into you, feel the shadows just pour over you. And Rocky, you turn to see um, the echo of uh, 
of my, um, of Hanako just holding on uh, to Dagger and like keeps going further and further and like in almost a kneeling stance you can see the a second echo behind it mm. in that moment and you see Hanako's uh, pull her hand towards the second echo and grab onto the katana and both of them plunge into Taya as you see Taya just get consumed by this um, get pushed further in um, and what, how how, Taya, how, how, how does Taya like how would Taya try to fight the it, Taya's kind of squirming kind of grasping at nothing the, the, every time she gets a hand close to the the echo it kind of wafts away mm. so she reaches out towards Rocky um which is her hand out towards Rocky. Yeah, like, as, like, when, when trying to reach for the, the, the sword, uh, it's almost as if Hanako is pulling her herself away and just, like, as if, like, like making you grasp at nothing and trying to tease you as she is tor tormenting you as she lingers over you. Um, Rocky, how do you respond to seeing Taya reach out? Uh, I think instinctively Rocky does try to, wants to lend a hand um and reach out and kind of like give her eyes kind of like nod like everything's gonna be okay but his eyes kind of tell differently um he's he's very sad i mean as much as he he you know knew this is what would needed to happen uh he's still he's still kind of sad that it had to happen like this and he just mouths i'm sorry for her yeah, like through Hanako's wispy body, you can, you can, you see, um, Rocky's reaction, and you both feel the Echo's fury just seething out to both of you, and you like feel like it's almost trying to consume you, as like everything around uh, you is falling to pieces, as the ceiling is caving in on itself. A uh, yokai and uh, machines are just exploding around you. Um, how do you react uh, to um, to that Taya uh, Rocky's reaction? I think moments? she continuously tries to just reach to something, but eventually the the shadows of the echo just consume her, uh, and eventually she stops reaching. In that final reach, you see a hand let go. One, the, the hand that was pulled in to grab onto the katana lets go and goes to hold your hand in that one last second. As you feel in that moment, the fury that like emanates of Hanako gets cut by this one feeling of remorse and sadness and forgiveness from Moran's echo as they just whiffed in a uh, waft away in the air in that final in that moment as you both uh, all three of you fade and uh in that uh rocky you just get once again that smell of lavender oranges and um sandalwood and incense Hmm. Hmm. I'm just going to press that and then press that. Oh, that was the wrong one. There we are. Randall, and in that moment, you you don't see what's happened, but you do feel the pang, and you do also get those smells linger and waft by you in that moment. As you you and Hikana are still uh, fighting away, and you can see in that moment Hikana is also crying with furious tears. 
Why do you cry? She doesn't say anything. But she... She's visibly shaking as like you both are just like... As she, you're just clashing and you're both taking in, again, the chaos of the prison collapsing around you. Is it really worth fighting for this prison? It's not going to be a prison much longer. It was my purpose to fight for this prison. And you, you've taken this away from me and you've taken everything away from me. Well, maybe it's time to find something new out there. A new purpose. I can't, it's not that easy. But I hope the shame I feel is half as much as the shame and that you feel. For all those lives you you had just tossed aside in hopes of just leaving. They they, they could have I... changed, they could they could they could have become children of the state, they could have led important lives, they could have they could have had a purpose, they could have had a drive. And you've took that away they from us. We weren't you. meant to be tossed aside. We were meant to escape every time, but you came in and thwarted us. The blood is not on my hands. It can't be. She doesn't say anything. Can I strike at her? It's not your turn yet. Oh, <laughs> it's Rocky's turn. Oh. <laughs> um, Rocky, at, at the end of my turn, I have to try to fight the frighteningness, right? Yeah. Or the fright. Um. Bad luck, AJ. Bad luck. I can't run. Can I? I can't run in this direction at all. Even if I was run, run towards uh, one of these. As long as uh, you can't see. Guys. As long as you can't see her, you can run to like that direction. It's the only way you okay. see her. Like it's tough. Also, thank you, Vic, so much for the 14 months. And yeah. you're a sweet bean, Vix. Actually, yeah. Uh, if you wanna, do you you wanna try and uh, run run this way? Actually, what I'm gonna do instead of that is I'm gonna jump up here. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I'm going to cast one more of my uh, fighting spirit, which gives me five temporary hit points as well as advantage at the end of this turn. I have uh, I get three per uh, long rest, so that's my second one. Mm -hmm. Um, so I have five more HP, and then I'm gonna shoot an arrow at this guy. Go ahead. Longbow. Uh, I'll go ahead and roll. See if Four. I get in that twenty. Mm -hmm. uh, no, but you know, as Fine. still very good. Yeah. Okay. As you do that, uh, Rocky, damage. you 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 just like pull yourself up and like you. Would you like? How do you like? How are you reacting right now? Like, would you be shaking? Would you be? Um, I think Rocky right now has a lot. Uh, a lot of adrenaline that he's not really processing everything that's happening. He's kind of just in fight mode. He knows that he needs to attack. Um, so he's just kind of, he's like, he's kind of put a note in his head. It's like, yeah, that's just some dramatic stuff I just went through and some mm. traumatic stuff I just went through. Um, but like, I gotta, I gotta save Randall. I gotta do what yeah. I can as well as I, I have the fear still of, uh, of the, of the warden. As you, but. as you like s take on that adrenaline and you f get that fighting spirit burning through you, you feel once again uh, Kano's energy and spirit uh, within you, and you also feel two hands clasp onto your longbow with you. Um, mm. And like you get that smell of uh again like, like that's that's been wafting around you uh recently as you pull back as the arrow begins to start smoking both a white mist and a black mist and as it flies through the air the arrow just catches onto fire uh like a cannonball and pierces through the acu like the shabbat 
from before where it like had a hole blown through it by the force it's a similar effect but like this is more as it crashes into uh, the remains of the crane and creates a severe dent in the stone behind it and the crates and just cause just a explosion amongst all of the wreckage of the mech uh, um, the fallen mech and the prison around you hmm All right. I also want to try to do a roll or something to fight this fight. Go ahead, roll me a in was it intelligence? Wisdom. Wisdom. Yep. <laughs> My wisdom sucks. Oh. Eleven. You oh. still <laughs> feel that shaking uh, fear. As you can see, Hikana's hair flaring up. Oh. Anything else? Um, no, there's nothing else I can do. Did I get that five? Uh, do I need to add that real quick? Or did you already add the five new HP that I, I got did. from? Uh... No, I think. Okay, because I think I was already in the twenty, like twenty-five. Yeah. Okay, so I'm at thirty now. Um, cool. Then that is the end of my turn. And also, do I get that? one or what is you this? do that like when you had that presence of Kano's spirit you felt okay. like once again rejuvenate and take one hit point from that sick it's magical one hit boy at a time <laughs> great Randall, all right that's time. the end of my turn all right i'm gonna go for my short sword attack that i was saying about just in a blind rage pretty much in anger oh yeah and it shows I imagine you are just like shrieking at each other and just shouting as you're just like attacking. You're just tearing at the air in front of us. Yeah. It's just a tear swelling in both of your eyes. Anything else you'd like to do? I will disengage as a bonus action with, uh, I think, cunning action or uncanny dodge. It's one yeah. of the two. Uh, I just want to see Rocky. I just need to make sure that he's okay. Where are you going? I need to see if my friend's okay. Rocky, how are you doing? Just like those friends you left. Stop talking about them. No. If I have to remember all the failures I've gone through. You don't even know them. You don't even know them. You put them, you imprison them here and you don't care about them. And now you're acting like you do. So now Just... is not the time. Just because I have to have this presence, that it doesn't mean that I don't care. We have to get out of here, Rocky. Let's go. You're going nowhere. Go. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I, no. I don't know what my brain is. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. As she tries to pull you in again with her searing lure. If you could roll me a deck save. Nineteen. Once again, you able to pull away, uh, but you've she pulls you in as you just about get a chance to see Rocky in that moment, and you can just see him. Uh, you can you can almost see um, as you look at him. You can see Kano, Moran, and Taya where he stands. But then you feel like through through your tears, uh, you then feel uh, your body get pulled into this crate and just smashed into, it, and your body just get dragged through. Uh, with the various contents within, which are a bunch of uh, machine parts. A useful thing I can see in there? <laughs> just, it's just a bunch of like uh, chassis and just like uh, shelling for like uh, s like ACU units and other kinds of mechs. Uh, if I can grab onto anything, I will. Can I? Uh, yeah, could I, could I roll you'd be able to grab a bunch of that. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Rocky, you'd be back to your turn. Oh, boy, howdy. How it feels to be a fuego. <laughs> it's painful, isn't it? You're just like, tr as you're trying to grab onto things, you feel her fiery whip just pull you through and you're just unable to like grab onto anything. Rocky? Just let us go. Um, so I can't, I don't want to attack her because I have too much fear to attack her, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, and there's nothing really else I can do because I don't want to run towards her. Um, where's Randall trying to go? Randall's trying Where? to get this, this help action 30 feet thing only is for fighting, isn't it? I have no clue. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it is. It is. Okay. Damn. Um, I just want to shout words of inspiration. You can fight this frightening, frightening I will, feeling, uh, Rocky. I will allow that to, like, give you inspiration on your, uh, your save. He's not that oh. scary. All right. So I can go ahead and... I mean, there's nothing else I can do with my turn right now, I guess. I mean... Mm-hmm. Yeah... Uh, so I will just go ahead and roll my wisdom saving throw with advantage. With advantage. Mark? Yeah. All right. Because uh, actually, Epi did just uh, re- give you chat inspiration. So. Oh, you get a little. You. <laughs> Eleven. Uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> terrible it, wisdom. It, 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 it isn't enough. <laughs> As you feel, Moran's spirit, tr- help trying to trying to goad you on, and reassure you. Um, you hear the words sink or swim echo in um, in your ears um, along with Randall's uh, call to, like, um, to inspire you. What's your charisma modifier, uh, R- Randall? My charisma modifier is a plus four. It isn't enough, yeah. Never mind. Randall, it's your turn. All right, well, if she's pulling me with this whip thing, I'm going to, like, use that as kind of momentum to charge my sword into her. Go ahead. If you want to keep going at it, then, I guess, have at it. 19. That that hits. Seven damage. As she pulls you towards her. Hey, actually, sorry, quick question. And this is probably not going to be true. Or not true, but applicable. Does Does Kano count as an ally within five feet? Kano's spirit is nearby. You do feel Kano's spirit does provide. Everyone's spirit right now does provide some assistance. Uh, And you, in that moment, you can like feel their presence with you. As when you get pulled in with the searing lore, your um, short sword plunges straight through her. And she looks like she didn't even try to block it that time. Um, and it just goes straight through her, and you can just see there's a fa- uh, an expression of shock, anger, exhaustion, and just and she uh, just, like, just, it, just very... as she falls, I'd I'd like if she's falling, I'd like to cra- to like cradle her or something like that. Cause now I feel really bad. She doesn't. She doesn't fall just yet. She is like still holding herself up as you're. She does. She does also go. To, she does got to hold you as well in that moment. Um, she looks scared. In in the in these few seconds, as like the tears well, and you can see her, uh, blood leak uh, onto your blade, and you can feel it trickle down onto, onto your fingers, and it's very warm. Um, a lot warmer than normal blood would be. And you see her, the fire in her hair, go from the um, tied up um, a bond that it is to falling down and flowing uh, down her back as um, she starts turning to ash. And she starts falling off of your blade. And you are able to catch her if you want to. Absolutely, yeah. You you could have come with us or something. You could have changed. You could have done something. You see a tiny wisp of fire push out of her heart. I couldn't. It's not my purpose. As you... It swirls around you, gifting you inspiration. And you feel uh, Hikana's body give. As the around you, the prison is falling apart. 
and you can see the like you the area you are in like and this like part of the duck is the only bit that seems to be fine as like but there's still like a just disarray around you still and a bunch of debris just has like caught uh white fire and is still sparking red uh not red sorry uh white as you hear this sound of the sound of the sky erupting echoing through the ceiling above as you can see um the sun begin to um sunlight peek through from the ceiling which is very strange it's beautiful rocky she's gone Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, and um, seeing that, like, no ships wait for you, you feel the only course of action is to swim. One well, I minute mean, is. I don't know how good of a swimmer you are, Rocky. I'm good enough swimmer, but I'm gonna have even more motivation. So I'll make do. I'll get us a bit of a head start if I can. Come up here with me. Right. And I uh, w once once we get to the top of this crane. I gr I grab Rocky by the by the like under under pits his armpits. Mm -hmm. Hopefully you're not ticklish. And I <laughs> leap I leap off the ground. Uh, and cr oh one second. Oh. And spectral dark wings sprout from my back. And just start to flap and glimmer, but they only can get us. Sorry. They only can get us about a minute out, I say. But I, I carry you as far as I can go. As you pick up Randall, I mean Rocky, sorry. Um, you just begin flying out. As you... Rocky, you can turn to see the prison behind you uh, collapsing and falling in on itself. As... Randall, you feel like your wings push further than normal you feel you feel your body just you're like you're just you time isn't moving for you right now as you just fly out i'm gonna put you guys on the map over here as let's sh put on your wings as you guys fly out It's not doing what I wanted it to do. It's not as cool. <laughs> it, looks, it looks exactly like it should for me. It's cool. Perfect. You grab me by the hair. Um, you, <laughs> yeah, you fly out um, following uh, the just the exit. And it looks like it's a tunnel that just goes out to sea. Um, but you can see as like your as you get, you can see the, uh, the sun uh, starts. Uh, you can see the sun setting. Um, and it's weird. Because, like, you know your wings don't last this long, but, like, it hasn't been a minute yet. And you still keep going, but you can see the sun. The sun's moving as you're flying. And you just keep going, um, following the river. And I'm just gonna, just gonna cut to a little something. If you give me a second. I'm just gonna do this. Uh, Co is still with Bruce's name. The labor of the journey on its four wings as the right propeller struggles to spin. Spitting out smoke after the sustained damage uh, that you guys took during the Tengu fight. On the wheel, Satoshi apprehensively watches the shore grow closer as the sun begins to set and the clouds begin to have dabbles and 
Is double the word? I think double's the word. Double of pink and purples in this uh, in the clouds, um, watching the propeller anxiously as this is all happening. Uh, he's sorry, they're not very focused on the pre-sunset right now, as they are they are a bit stressed. You can imagine, um, but you can see the mountain grow closer and the coast within reach. At the front of the ship, you see or we see uh, Lo-Fi Boy. How do you feel being close to the island, Lo-Fi Boy? Uh, like a mix of like nostalgia and uh, even if I've never been there, just knowing that I'm so close to Takeru Yume, uh, mm. the survivor of the family that I used to have, and mm, just also a bit of like, like kind of like in my in Lo Fi Boy's posture, he's probably kind of like chin up, like looking ahead um thinking also of like kira like and being ready to just do things if things need to be done mm. and lo nico with yuki beh uh, beside you uh, you both stare at the sandy beach below uh, just in the distance just so close within the grasp of um where hiryu has sent you how how do you feel I mean, a little bit exhausted after <laughs> after the fight. Um, yes, and we seeing, only a few moments. Yeah, seeing Lo-Fi Boy um, as he is, she'll probably put her hand on on his arm um, and sort of look out with sort of anticipation, I guess, because she knows that we need to be here, but not really why or what for. Mm. <laughs> so she's just gonna sort of try and comfort Lo-Fi Boy and just keep a lookout on everything, keep an eye on Satoshi and just everything going on. Just mm -hmm. <laughs> keep an eye on that things are gonna be okay. <laughs> and as you're like trying to convince yourself that things are gonna be okay, uh, Yuki turns to you and just makes a very confused little fucks noise. Oh, no. I think I thought the I thought it would be a bit more pebbly, a bit more stones maybe. Maybe maybe a bit more rocky. Hmm. And they then they just look and tilt their head very confused at the at the beach ahead. Um, and as you are getting these butterflies in your stomach and the apprehension and the excitement and all the nervousness and nostalgia and just anticipation for what's coming next fills you, you see the mountain range in front of you start to spark blue. Um, and as it's sparking blue, you can see lightning surging off it and a noise that sounds like the sky is crashing and just the mountain erupts, imploding in on itself. <laughs> oh, oh, <no>. Wow, <laughs> Darla said there'd be lightning. Um, I guess uh, that that moment of uh, of um, the confidence just like goes away. <laughs> <laughs> And with that loss of confidence um, in those um, in Lonely and Lofi Boy, they instinctively grasp onto the railing of the the front of the ship. And Yuki uh, panics and tries to dr uh, jump and grab onto Lonico, but completely whiffs it and instead grabs onto the banana fan leaf and uh, the leaf fan, and is just biting onto it with with dear life as it hangs from her belt and just struggling to hold on. Um, and Satoshi uh, and the Red Logger both instinctively fly in a very cautious maneuver, uh, attempting to avoid the non-existent debris as the uh, mountain uh, that's nearest the coast in between the silhouettes of Kasakawa City to the north and Otani Village to the east is gone. White lining and white fire sparks from the crater that is left that as just smoke obscures the as if like as if someone just like crashed into it right? it's just like the 
but we we cannot see the damage that's been dealt here. Um, but Satoshi is just veering away and uh, doing their best to pilot the ship. And as as they realize there's nothing to avoid, they they begin to slow down and ease up. Uh, still panicked, as it's this very terrifying noise has just been heard uh, just right before them. Um, they start making their way towards the waters um, to land onto the beach instead of uh, docking at any of the airports in the sea. Um, and as the chaos is just calming in that moment, um, you see a silhouette of a strange humanoid bird-like creature flying carrying another humanoid bird. Uh, I'm not a bird, sorry, humanoid shape onto the beach. And as they land onto uh, the sandy shores um, and the red lake hole just gently splashes into the waters um, as the waves um, carry the airship into into the um, onto the beach, you guys see the sunset shining off the gemstone um of the one of the humanoid shapes um you see the uh the gemstones of rocky's body just glinting in the in the setting sun amongst all of this chaos and calm lean over the side of the <laughs> the railing. She's like, Rocky! Well, Five Boy would probably even struggle, like, saying his name. Just kind of like in shock. Maybe even falling to his knees. Mm. Like. Waving her arm, just. I was going to say ferociously, but that's like. <laughs> Energetically. <laughs> and, yeah, energetically. Um, they don't initially notice you, but once you call out to them, they they turn, and you can see their purple eyes. Even even with the distance you have between you guys, you can. They're very distinct. Um, and as they just glint in the moon, in the in um in the sunlight, um. You guys hit the shore. And uh, we're going to end the session there. And with that, we conclude Jailhouse Rocky. And we'll see you on uh, session 20 of Throwing Top Sands. Thank you everyone for, for being here. Guys, you want to say hello? Oh, bye bye. Oh, wow. oh yeah, hi. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, guys. Golly. Oh, man. Try not to cry. Uh, My pain. Uh, uh. Yeah, that's, that, that <laughs> sure, was a, sure was a roller coaster of an ending right there. It was. Yeah. Yeah. Um. What we'll yeah, do. life is very sad, mm. very depressing. I mean, now you got your friends with you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good now. Yeah. It was sad for a little bit, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah um, we're actually going to be doing uh, on when we get back, uh, when, or when I get back from Canada, uh, look out for a behind the screen uh, stream and like a wrap up, um, and we're going to talk about like all the things. If you guys have any questions about the session or anything please drop them in the discord or dm them to me and i'll note, note them down uh we're gonna be going yeah. over a lot of stuff what are you gonna say sorry uh, yeah, I, have a, I, have a, I, I just have a question about the, the the campaign real quick so i just want to get this right did 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 uh did rocky go to jail nah <laughs> okay uh, <laughs> he never went in the i All think right. it was the point that he didn't actually yeah so he, he wakes up at the end of the succession. Yeah. It was all a dream. It's it 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 all a dream time. again. Yeah. Kaz, Kaz, start it over. We didn't do it right. Ah, uh, fuck. He didn't, he, didn't, he, didn't, he didn't get it. It's just a sequel to Rocky verse. It was all a dream no. again. 
We subvert oh his God. expectations too much. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> um, uh, no, but it was great. I loved it. You know, uh, thank you all for playing. Thank you all for being here, uh, chat. You guys have been such a pleasure to, to, uh, to, um, to, to share this experience with. And I, I like with my players, uh, I, I, I can't put into words how much they've brought to this and how much fun it's been because of them and my endless amount of love for them. <laughs> so do you guys uh, want to tell us about you, your, your stuff? Sam. <laughs> I'm Sam. <laughs> we can We've got way too many Sams. We do. We can do um we'll go we'll go from bottom top, Moran. Um yeah, sure. Uh, I'm oh, Epi. I'm <laughs> Yeah. My name's Moran now. I'm dead. It really sucks. It, um it do be yeah, like sucks being dead, man. I make art uh oftentimes of this campaign, but now that it's over, maybe more of the main Thronatop Sands guys, and just art in general of my own characters. So uh, swing on by, say hello. Please do. That's all. Gorgeous work. Next. Thank you. Is, well. is Sammy. Hi, I'm Sammy. Even though I'm a traitor in game, I'm not evil in real life. <laughs> and... I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. There's some Thank you, Vix. Moments. There's some, Sounds some like I have a Sam to remove. In, like, uh, in civilization. Mm. Oh yeah, she did. She that, that's, 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 true. <laughs> that's true. This this was me doing retribution for that because I played a dragonborn and you were an elf. Oh yeah, yeah it's literally the same thing. No, exactly. Um, there we go. I, I we stream. won in the end. <laughs> Nobody won. Everyone won. Um, well, I won to I won today is what I'm saying. Like narratively, well, yeah, the definitely. dragonborn have beaten the elf. I'll get you next time. I, I stream a variety of different uh, games and whatnot on my channel, on my Twitch channel. I also do a podcast with my co-host. We talk about everything, nothing in between. It's kind of chaotic, but if you're into uh, that kind of conversations, you should check it out. Excellent. And AJ and Sam, do you guys want to do McClunky? All right, Sam, at the same time, ready? All right, hell yeah. All right, so... McClunky! No, okay, that's what we're doing. <laughs> uh, I'll just do the promo. All right. So, uh, I'm AJ, that's Sam. Uh, we do McClunky Squadron. Uh, we do a lot of... We do games, talk shows, uh, maybe a podcast eventually. We're going to do a bunch of other stuff. We're going to be a third podcast in existence. Uh, hey. uh, and we're, then We're, we're when, a little slow. We're a little slow, but then when Kaz comes down, we're, we're going to be doing some streams with him in person, hey, maybe, I think. Maybe. I think we're doing the 12-hour stream, aren't we? Like in the next Are we doing weeks? the 12-hour stream in person? Oh, I don't oh we're going to be doing the 12-hour stream where we do uh, where we rank all the Marvel care, uh, movies. Every yeah, time right? I hear it, it's a Kaz new thing. Kaz has got to freaking watch all these movies, yeah. apparently, in that, in, yeah, we got, in that time frame. We'll, we'll, just, we'll just rank them, and then Kaz will be confused the entire time. I mean, like, yeah, I just have should... opinions in the background. Yeah, no, like, we'll have I, other I, things I going on during the 12 hour stream. Like, I'll be probably be playing some Witcher. I'll be juggling we'll be in the background. Other games. Kaz will be doing a juggling show. Uh, I'd watch. With... I can't juggle. <laughs> yeah, I'd, it'll be, it'll I be three hours. It'll be three hours of Kaz trying to learn how to juggle. That'll actually be really fun, I think. <laughs> yeah. Uh, in September, yeah, we're definitely going to be coming back with uh, Terrifying Territories of Roro as well, so that'll be a fun, spooky-themed campaign. We Sunny definitely got hit every day in October. Like that. Oh, that's, yeah. that's the thing. Those are those are the prime times for. We spooky. got it. We got a. We have a this uh, super special Roro session on the thirty first. Super October. special eight oh, hour. You session. can't play Undertale. I'm going to be Sorry. sad about Kano now. Don't Sorry, do this, dude. I thought I'm we already just... trying to like kind <laughs> of hold back tears, dude. Sorry. I guess I'll go. See you later. No, come back. <laughs> just kidding. You just yeah, killed. check out uh, Mc again. check out McClunky Squadron. That's uh, that's what we do over there. All right, let me put on uh, Downtime Rocky. Give me a second, and then, um, but yeah, that's McClunky. And then finally, Jacob, tell us about yourself and just very mundane and all the things. Uh, I don't think people really care about Jacob, especially Rocky. Okay. Hey. <laughs> My man's had two feature length films, and you're like, nah. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Uh, three, two. One McClunky. Oh shit! No, McClunky. I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. I, I was ready. on the fucking ball, people. <laughs> nah, I mean, you're late anyway. I, I hear I a countdown know. and I'm on. 
Yeah, but you were late still. You're right. You're right, AJ. I wasn't. Hello late. there. It's bad. It's, uh, it's bad to like not be late. Uh, I was uh, Discord uh, late. My my name is uh. What's up, everybody? I'm Jacob. I play Rocky. Uh. He actually, despite what you might think, is not coming back next session. Uh, <laughs> that was, in fact, another group of people he, that was on the beach. Yeah, he was actually meant to die. <laughs> Rocky does drown and he sinks like a stone. Uh, yeah, we that part. <laughs> a minute of Rocky. That's what that was. We were flying into the afterlife. Rocky yeah. doesn't know. Rocky Whoa, doesn't I'm know flying students. for a really long time. Why did my wings become angel wings? <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, no, no. I'm, uh, yeah, I play Rocky. Uh... I uh, wrote a podcast called Just Very Mundane. Uh, it's a uh, comedy kind of advice podcast where we give just very mundane advice in just very mundane ways. Um, or um, and me, my me, my me, my co-host Sauger. Um, I also do a bunch of other random stuff. I have some stuff on YouTube. I have some stuff on um, just kind of posted around my town. If you if you're around there, uh, if you just want to find it. You can hunt that down. Um, and also, currently, right now, my biggest project that I'm working on is working on a, uh, working on a card game. Hey. Hey. hey uh, that should all be... That, that It's not in the links right now, but it will be added to the, the yeah. link tree at some point soon. soon. Link it. Link it, guys. But yeah. Um, <laughs> I haven't got it yet, sadly. Uh, let me just do this. Because uh, I, I didn't find the song fast enough. But like here is here's it is not undertow anymore. I'm not singing the song, Vix. I'll get I I can't this I put too much effort into this to get it fucking copyright stricken. Hey Kaz, can you sing us a song? Please? No no, I can't sing the song. Please I can't wait to do karaoke. Please, next Kaz. Week, Come on. Yeah, we're gonna sing us a song. I'm doing a karaoke. Sing us a song tonight. I know it wasn't a TPK, but it was three quarters of the pie. Uh three fifths. It was a near it was a TPK. TPK. It yeah. was all the ones that mattered. It was all, all the ones hey. that Aww. we intended to kill. <laughs> hey, Jacob, does, does Rocky bleed? Uh, want to find out? I mean, well, if, uh, if I should not see Rand bleed. I knew you were going to say it, AJ. I knew you were going to be the one to say it. <laughs> uh, well, Randall cuts, cuts his hand open and, for, and makes he you fucking cut your hand sands. open. Let's fucking go, dude. We're, it's we're just a bunch of like crystals, or you know. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, Sam was saying his sand. Like he he doesn't bleed. He he just like sands. Sand we're on the top sands. Exactly. We're mineral guys. <laughs> mineral so bros. Really we're we're mineral bros. Yeah. <laughs> I could have been one of the mineral bros if I lived. <laughs> you get, I'm made you of get, gold. Did you get it, guys? Pebbles on the coast. That's in the two rock boys. You get it? Yeah. Yeah. I loved it. I loved. I don't. It. No, I didn't get. I, I wasn't lost on me. Yeah, don't I don't know. understand. That's okay. Rocky's yeah. not Pebble. He actually looks Thank you so like, much, uh, Kaz. Thank you so much. No worries. You're pile welcome. Of slime. Um, You've done a made... great job as a DM. Yeah. An amazing You have. I, I, Kaz, it was great. such a such a joy to play. Round with. of applause. This is why we need like a a studio laughter or, or <laughs> sure. like No, you got like the laugh is the it's the clap. We need a Man. soundboard. <laughs> yeah, the laugh. I don't have my <laughs> I don't have my soundboard connected or else it would have been perfect. I can yeah, just have like <laughs> that's, that's very sweet. Like a very give me like, give me like two minutes. Like, yeah. Guys, hold on. Give me like two minutes. <laughs> all right. All right. Cheers we'll for Chris for we'll hold, we'll hold the stream. We'll, we'll put it in at like very random times too. Like like someone dies <laughs> and goes away and then just the laugh. <laughs> Honestly, it's too much power for me to have a to to have that soundboard set up. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, I remember last time you had it. You know, um, what was fun, uh. Jacob, you had no idea about the betrayer plot. Mm. Oh, like so we wanted to save that in the deets for later. We'll yeah, all right. We'll save. We'll save it for. But you all September. know that now. <laughs> yeah, you guys know. You guys know that little spicy bit there. But there's more. There's a lot of spice. That, like I didn't know that. Oh he didn't man, know. toasty. Did you not? Yeah. I didn't. <laughs> know. I didn't know that he didn't know. I thought he. We all knew that. Now, nah, yeah, like Jacob. Nope. Jacob didn't know a lot of shit. Man, I'm dumb. Jacob. It's okay. yeah, <laughs> and I'm playing I, a mastermind here, people. Watch this show. Just like Rocky, I'm just kind of oblivious to most things. Yeah, so. yeah. Just like, just, like things Boom. just happen. I'm like, oh, that was actually really convenient that I was uh, right about that. Mm. <laughs> but with that, um, uh, I'm, we're, we're going to finish up the stream. Uh, I'm going to mm. just take us to the end card. I'm going to have a quick chat with my group. And then I'm going to just go over the sponsors and then guide us into a raid. Um... So what we'll do, I'll see you guys in a hot second. Are you guys want to say bye? Bye! bye. Toasty! <laughs>
Hey, hi, what up, that was a lot, that was very fun, thank you guys for being here, thank you guys for being a part of this, like I cannot put into words the amount of just love I'm feeling right now towards all of this and just everything, hi Ruffle, yeah, no, I am, I, I am, just, just, my heart. I, uh, <laughs> what we're gonna do is we're gonna. I'm talking about someone to raid. I think we're gonna raid Albert in. Um. Actually, no. I think we're gonna raid Paradise Pride. But well, I'm gonna quickly go over my sponsors, and I'm gonna go over a few things before we finish up. Um. I want to first again thank you to thank my players for the time they've given like you we you, you'll find out like just a fraction of the effort and energy that went in from 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 the cast uh, behind the scenes when we um when we go over that so keep an eye out for when that does come and when we do have that planned because we're very excited to um to do that there's there's a lot of things we have in mind it's it's gonna be it's gonna be neat. It's gonna be nice pulling pulling back the curtain and showing you guys a lot of a lot of a lot of the stuff. The map, for example, uh, a lot of our just initial story plans and maybe some session notes. Who knows? Um, but yeah. Thank you again. Thank you guys for being here. Uh, I would also like to. I don't thank them enough. Two minute tabletops. They they do all the map assets I use. Um, like they have a Patreon. That's where like I've I've, I've gotten most of the tokens from. And. And they do such wonderful stuff. I highly recommend it. Um, but yeah, first first sponsor. Actually, um, yeah. Before I before I do the sponsor, I also want to mention we we do have merch. I promised that BGL has Rocky merch by the end, and we do. We have all the emote uh, sticker sheets, and we have the posters for Into the Rocky Verse and GL has Rocky. And if you want to grab any of those, it does support the stream, and it goes towards the production of stuff like this. So if you want to um, grab some some of the stuff, please do. It's greatly appreciated. And if you do grab some, show me. I want to see. Um, if you enjoy my art, I want to see more. Uh, most of the art that has been on stream that isn't fan art is um, is my own, and except for the maps, um, even including overlays and um, and the stuff like that. You can find my stuff on Instagram, Twitter, and also you can find my YouTube and my TikTok and my other stuff over my link tree. If you've enjoyed this and you want to be a part of the community that like has basically like been what's um helped build this all uh and like like even like to down to like finding uh, like the cast like i wouldn't have uh gotten the cast i i had if i didn't do the west marches and if you want to be a part of something like that thank you for the follow multi multiculturalist james i hella appreciate that if you want to be, if you want to be a part of that um, that community and like take part in our West Marches games, uh, set in the world of Australia, so you would like have an impact on the main, on the streamed game, um, or do you want to take part in our art nights or our various just events that we do, you can join the Discord. And finally, if you want to catch up on the entire campaign and or just this side story, you can over on YouTube.
we just fin we did just finish a quest in West Marches. Uh, there's the link to the um the part of Thorn Top Sands, which is the main campaign that this is a part of. Um, go check it out. It's the cast are wonderful. The story is something I'm having a lot of fun with, and like I hope it's evident in this. And it's like there's some like themes and ideas that like I'm exploring like through it, and like I'm learning about myself through the world. I'm like we've been crafting together. It's been it's been a pleasure. So go, please do go support that if you if you enjoyed this. Um, and if you're new here, if you came from the lurk or the raid, or, or came from the raid, or you're lurking or you're watching the vod and you're new, hit uh, hit the little follow bell if you've enjoyed and the little notification bell to get reminded when we next go live. I will not be live for another three weeks, I think, uh, depending on the situation. Uh, I very likely will not be live for the next three weeks. So I'll be in Canada in next week. But like this, uh, but like so, I'll be taking uh, next week off just as uh, time to rec re recover from all of this. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go over the, our, uh, our sponsors before we go into our raid. Uh, first is Bard RPG. They are a product I work on. I do the sci-fi offer, but they are a wonderful group of creators and writers on that team, and it's to create a genre agnostic and system agnostic tool to help guide storytelling and accompany you with building a cooperative narrative and if that's something of interest and you want to like grab something like that and or f just follow it and see what see what we what we get up to uh check out the page on kickstarter there will be a link to the website soon when that is uh up and up and uh sorted but um until then uh next is dice roll uk who create gorgeous dice um if you want to grab any of the, the gorgeous gemstone metal or resin dice, uh, you can at diceroll.uk slash kazadm. Uh, that link uh, supports the stream. And the dice are gorgeous and they're cheap. And they, sh if you're in the UK, it's free free shipping. If you're international, shipping's cheap. And I cannot... In like, I bought... Like, I've, I, I've bought... Since, like, I've got... Like, since I saw fan di diceroll.uk, I've, like, I've gotten so many dice since then. Compared to like the like the past three years of playing D and D, it's it's crazy. Their metal dice, especially, uh, and their gemstone dice are gorgeous, and I highly recommend. Now, finally, now finally, sorry. There's also Phoenix Dice who also produce some dice, and if you use the code TAS2022, you can get uh, twenty percent off your purchase to grab some dice or uh, some accessories over on their store. Um, and there's games by B who create TTRPG um, accessories, uh, such as stationery, and just things to take to your personal games of D&D. And if that's something of interest to you, anything will be neat. Uh, you can get 10% off your purchase if you use uh, TAS2022 on the uh, the checkout. Next is the two podcasts, the only two podcasts in all of history, uh, Just Very Mundane. You heard Jacob talk about it earlier. Jacob uh, is a producer of, one of this podcast and a host of this podcast and where they just mundanely talk about things. And you've seen Jacob. He's hilarious. He's a wonderful character, wonderful person. So he is... I said it at the beginning, I said he's like the most generous, per like one of the most generous people with their effort and time and energy that I know. And like... Like for how busy of a person he is, how will, how just like willing he is to just help and be there, and he's such a good friend. You should go support him. Go 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 check out his pod, uh, podcast. He produces so many wonderful and hilarious things. Like I I can't endorse it enough. And the second podcast I've made is "We're So Fucking Sorry." That isn't how you sing the song, but. uh we're sorry. Uh, we're so fucking sorry. By uh, which is where Sammy and Lucy, two of my other very good friends, that uh, produce another podcast, and they are wild, chaotic, hilarious, and they have their fiftieth episode special coming up very soon. So go follow them, go support them, and go check out that fiftieth special stream with a uh, podcast, which will be a D and D special, I believe. Um, and then my final sponsor is Georgia Marjorie. Georgia produces some gorgeous jewelry, where she makes wonderful silver pendants, rings, earrings, and necklaces. And she's got a set uh, right now that's coming out. That's the um, the Silver Dragon Horde, which is a and D themed um, line based on the Dungeon Master, the Rogue, and the Fighter. And they are they are gorgeous. I cannot understate enough how wonderfully pretty they are. 
go go support her go support everyone I've, I've i've linked there and yeah uh final thing i want to say is i will be doing a chibi sale um as just a little uh little little, little fun thing uh and that'll be announced on monday so if you want to grab some of uh some uh chibi art of any of your characters or anything hit me with a message on discord instagram or twitter and i will add you to the queue and you will uh you'll get some chibis um it's a fraction of my normal price for commission so if you wanted some of my art but you've also wanted you it's been it's been a bit out of budget this might be a great opportunity for you um for that um but yeah that's all the things i want to talk about i'm gonna raid into I'm going to raid into Paradise Prod. I think it's Paradise Productions, I believe. It's like, uh, they've been doing a bunch of charity streams recently, and so yeah, and like I, I think it would be neat to, to raid into them if it lets us. Because I know some streams don't let you. Wonderful. So we're going to we're going to hit him with a vibe check. If you are sub, you can use the low uh, break dancing, but if you aren't, you can use these hearts. There we are. And there we are. And so yeah, if I don't see you in the next few days over on Discord, I will see you in three weeks ideally um but if not i will well i hope you have a good morning good afternoon good evening bye <laughs> i just remembered their follow only so I'm gonna unraid that. So I'm gonna actually it didn't stop me. That's interesting. Never mind. Um I'm gonna raid in some uh into thick pastel. She's just gone live actually, so I'm gonna raid into her instead. So yeah, there's a raid messages still. And I'll see you guys in a hot second. Uh hope you have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening.